took a little break and this is just like, you know, every once in a while we come back. So, you know, we haven't died from anything. And I am here, Patty Rosper, I'm here with the beautiful Carrie Caravis, the goddess of Greece, the goddess of cleaning. I'm How great. are you, Patty? Beautiful. We're here. Adam Hineker <laughs> is <laughs> also on mic. I like the, very- the Greek goddess of cleaning. I like that. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it was very, your cleaning video was very funny. Watch Carrie's videos. I'm doing a commercial for you right up front. And Adam, who Carrie believes you might be gay from the apartment yeah, behind you, home, you've got like art. What's that before. art vase, that white thing? No, he's got that, oh, that first mm, of all, that thing is a steam thing that brings scents into the house. It's, it's like uh, the oil. Yeah, is that what it is? Essential oils. Yeah, it's essential oils. I got it for Christmas for my sister. She sells them. Because she knows you're gay. <laughs> yeah, Wait a minute. Right. You put a, okay, this is uh-huh. super gay. You put essential <laughs> oil smells in your house? Yeah, I'm pe- yeah. Uh, let's just say I'm Patty's yeah. type. Yeah, you know um, uh, what's his name used to have those that, but uh, it was he, uh, what's his name? Uh, God, I, I'm going nuts. I can't think of anyone's name. What is Bill it? Cosby had one, but he, he oh, used to no. use a, a chloroform <laughs> uh, essential sleep. oil. Do you yeah. know that the first time this is a true story? The first time I banged my husband when we were in Statsburg. Uh, I used to have those Glade plugins, you know, and they were in every room. And he, I, he has asthma, but I didn't really understand asthma then because I didn't know anyone with asthma. And mid bang, he has seized up, had a horrible asthma attack, and I thought he was going to die. And meanwhile, he, he's he's allergic to the plugins, but he didn't want to say anything because he's so polite. I guess he just really wanted to have sex, so he didn't say anything. But anyway, a those guy's are willing very to bad. die. A that, guy was willing to die to get to get in there. Wow. <laughs> so there you go. If your man has asthma, don't put that shit in your house. Or if you date a girl, Adam, I'm yeah. assuming. Well, it's well, nice because you, you get like a little. Or if you don't little, like them anymore, plug yeah. them in everywhere. Right. <laughs> exactly. I like that idea. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, before we start, should we talk about, I can't believe Vic Henley died. It's unbelievable to me. Yeah, it's such a sad loss in the community of comedy, you know? it's uh, He was such a nice guy. Knew him forever. Mm-hmm. Knew him forever. Funny. Com- you know, he's a guy, you know, some of the guys are kind of shitty to the girl comics. Like, from the very beginning, like, they go, or they don't give it to you when you get off stage or anything. He was always like, great job, like that new joke. Mm-hmm. You know, he was always so nice. He did our always, podcast too. Always yeah. up, like you never heard him say bad shit about anybody no. ever. No. No, ever. He, he was always not. positive. He was all, like he would always go, "Oh, great!" You know, like the guy was just all around a sweetheart. The smile he had on his face was oh who my, he really was. That smile with those teeth—it just makes you laugh. When he would, when you'd come in, you'd go to the comic strip, and you'd be like, "Hey, you got those big old toothy smile and that voice." <laughs> you, you, how do you not like sweetheart anything? Southern guy? Very, very sweet. Also, we're going to put a link up later if I can figure out how to do it. Because we did a two tired twats with him and he tells like great stories. He has a bunch of stories on that. Mm-hmm. So it's anyway, really a shame. And you know what the worst part about this whole thing is, is that there's no funeral. There's no you can't even go right. pay your respects to someone because he's gone at a really bad time. I know. Normally, like the comic strip would do a thing, you know, where you all come and they do a tribute and everyone would talk and tell stories and blah, blah. But I got to say, he probably does. They're probably going to do that once. Hopefully this is all Mm -hmm. this is all like, you know, when we could start going out again. But um, and then, you know, it's just the whole thing is just all these people. Now you're starting to hear more and more people. I just heard another guy today that I knew really well, a promoter on Long Island. He's gone at a young age too. He was only 50, whatever. Vic was only 57, right? I don't know. I I didn't know how old he was. And then this guy was not even, this guy wasn't even 60 gone. Um, Chario died, but you know, what's funny. Chario died at the wrong, like he was 90. (laughs) You know what I mean? He died of old age. Um, even Chario thought, from Dangerfields. If people Chario the waiter from Dangerfields, who was I loved him to death. I, Nobody liked him, but he I, was that's great. That's what I loved about him. He was so. Hold on, I got to shut this because I can hear my, I can hear my uh, my neighbors. Um, Chario could like was the crankiest, curmudgeoniest. 
Uh, and he was the worst waiter. People would be coming to the bar. They go, has anyone? They'd be <laughs> the chef on a drink. They go, has anyone seen my waiter? And then, you know, uh, Vinny would go, Patty, go get him outside. Tell him he's got drink orders. And he'd, he'd go outside. This guy's like a 90. He's had four heart attacks. Smoking. Like, smoking. I'm like, Terry, you can't smoke anyway. You've had heart attacks. He goes, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be giving it up soon. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But like the worst waiter... Just miserable. And you know what was funny? Like, he's been there since this club opened, 1958 or whatever it was. And he was a staple there. Like, you know, you couldn't walk in there without seeing him. And then at the end, he started doing comedy, which was hilarious. But, you know, he would take little bits of everybody's act and do it at the end. (laughs) But what was great about him was he didn't like anybody. And then he loved me because I was Greek. Oh, yeah, yeah. He loved me for some reason, too. And I don't know why, but he was like, he was horrible to Quentin. He and Quentin. Oh, my God. Like, he would get in fights with people. I'd see him at the bar. When he got angry, he got angry. But there was something that was so funny about it when he got angry. You can't even take it seriously. You know, he was. Oh, come on. He was the best. And then he would take on. Like, so there was, when, when the club was full, whatever, he would take on big sections. And, oh, yeah. Like, you know, I guess when he was in his heyday, he could handle, you know. Yeah. 80, you know, 40, 50 people at once. Yeah, yeah. You know. No, he was good when he had to be, but, like, he just wanted to smoke. Like, I think by the end, he was... he. Could, <laughs> and the other thing I liked about that guy is, and this is very Greek, Carrie, he had, like, three jobs, you know. He would work oh, at yeah. night. He had another waitering job during the day, and he would do something else. Uh, you know, he would sell stocks and all this. Yeah, he would stuff. always tell me what stocks to buy. I'm like, Chari, I make I $25 I, I, a set here. I don't know. What kind of stocks this. can I buy with $25? Stock advice from Chari. But it was so funny. When he first started doing his jokes, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to tell jokes. I go, okay. And he goes up and he's got the mic in his face. He goes, And the crowd would be like, what's going on? He's got the accent. He's got the face. He's the mic. He's like, and the people laugh anyway just because he's like He's their waiter. Old. He's their waiter. <laughs> he, he just brought them a daiquiri, a strawberry daiquiri, and now he's on stage doing jokes. Like, that was hysterical to me. And you know what's funny? Like, uh, he, so back in the day when you did Dangerfields and the next comic was running late because, you know, he was at the strip and the strip right. was running late. Right. So now you're like, they would, Nancy Redmond would stand in the back and go, stretch, stretch. Right. So you, you'd have to stretch. You know? Yeah, yeah. So now they change the whole thing. You don't have to stretch now. You do your set, you leave, and then Chariot goes up and just <laughs> And kills time. He's like, exactly. Too crazy. He exactly. goes, I'm working, on my, I'm working on my act. And I go, oh, what is it? And he's got papers from the internet of jokes. That's how he would work on his act. He go, I think I, I wanted to make a comedy album. I guess he never did that. Uh, but anyway. He was, you know, he started his comedy career at 85. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was always a joke because when I go into Danger Trails, Vinny would go to me, guess who died? I go, oh my God, no, no, Jerry and Dylan like, on the night. <laughs> Vinny like, did that on Jer- purpose. Jerry and Dylan. Like, nah, I'm kidding. He's not dead yet. Like, that was always. Uh, Kevin would go to me. Is, was Chario still there? Like, you always thought that the last time you saw Chario was the last time you'd see Chario. But he kind of kept going for like. He like, was like 90 something. I know. It was crazy. Caroni didn't take him out. Caroni? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, Carrie, I want to know uh, what's happening with your scratch offs. Can you? Someone asked on Twitter <laughs> if you can still do scratch offs. Oh no, Corona! Where are you buying your scratch offs? What are you First doing? First of all, addiction. I don't know if you guys know this, but my entire comedy schedule got wiped out. So, uh, am I going to exchange a hand job for a twenty five dollars scratch off? Yeah. How does how did that yeah. work out? Absolutely. Why not? You're right. This is too light. How's that? Is it better? I look like a fucking ghost. How's that? You're fine. That's a little well, better. Uh, you you were fine before. Calm oh, down. Okay. Um. So so there are you're not buying scratch offs. I'm not even leaving my house. I've been uh, I've been trapped in this house for three weeks. I wake up with anxiety attacks. I go to sleep with anxiety attacks every day. I'm taking my temperature every day. I got a sore throat. I feel like I have a sore throat. <laughs> I'm self manifesting all these freaking things. I'm like, wait, does an ingrown toenail mean I have corona? Like I I just I'm losing my mind. I'm on the computer all night long reading conspiracy theory after conspiracy theory. Yeah, you know. Uh, <laughs> I think I think Bill Gates is trying to kill us. Okay, I'm, Carrie told me the other night uh, that she goes, "Well, I know what's happening." I go, "What's happening?" Go ahead, Carrie. Tell me what you tell me. First of all, Carrie believes every conspiracy theory in the world because Carrie gets all of her news information and everything she knows 
from Facebook. Google. So, Google. I go. I double. Google? I double fact check it. <laughs> With, uh, with other crazy people. Well, Google. Yeah, with the, you, but you got to go to a real site. You go to these sites. You know, I, I, I've believed in aliens uh, for quite a while now, and everybody makes fun of me. I do. That and, I don't believe. Okay, well, uh, okay, okay, okay. Where are when, they coming from? You believe in, like, Rosalind or whatever that one was? Remember that? Oh, uh, Roswell. Not Roswell. Roswell. Roswell, you know, those are Jews, Patty. There's yeah, a Ro- Rosalind is a gal down the street from you. <laughs> Um, okay, you believe? Well, that was kind of weird. So maybe okay. something. So I believe in aliens, and I've always have. All right, I, I believe that they're here, that they're running things, blah blah blah, whatever. I've always felt this, and everybody makes fun of me. Uh, you know, they oh yeah, yeah yeah. But one day, you're all gonna be like, when they finally show us that there's alien life form out there, you're all gonna go to me. You're all gonna go. I knew it. I just you know didn't want to look crazy. Wait a and minute. I'm gonna be, your I'm aliens be- that you believe in, do they look like people or what do they look like? They're not uh, Mexican. No, that's not, not the Mexican. aliens I'm talking about. <laughs> undocumented. They're undocumented uh, workers. <laughs> what do they look like, the aliens you believe in? They have big heads with big slanted, weird eyes like the, the big bu- bubble-headed people that they show? Yes? Like on E.T. or not on E.T.? What yes, Patty, yes. Okay, that, okay, let me explain something. Everything Carrie says to me seems crazy, right? So she And said, then when it comes to fruition, you're going to go, I knew it. I Carrie knew it. Said, Carrie was right. Carrie sent me this thing with this Indian guy who's like a de- <laughs> invented, supposedly, he the invented. In- email. 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 No, that guy I, I has some know. real credentials, honey. Do people real? really invent email? I don't know. But anyway, he invented, supposedly, email. He's going on and on. The first 10 minutes, I'm going, oh, my God, is this horse shit? Okay, forget it. And I'm going, I'm just going to watch it till the end. Half an hour. Now, I'm brainwashed into thinking, yeah, maybe this is true. The thing is, if you listen to it long enough, you start believing it. You're like, okay, well, that could happen. You know what it is? It's like a good lawyer, like a defense lawyer. You know, you know the guy killed the guy, but the defense lawyer throws in all these things. Like he goes, well, you know, why would he do this? Maybe this guy could have done it. Maybe. And then all of a sudden the people in the jury are like, oh yeah, maybe that could have happened. And that's how it is with Kara's videos. I'm like, well, you know, I suppose it could happen. Go ahead, explain your Bill Gates thing that he's trying to kill us all. So- so Bill Gates does a TED talk or whatever, a speech. Yeah. Five, eight years ago, whatever it was. I don't even remember the date exactly. And he describes this virus to a T in his talk and how it's going to wipe out 30 million people if we don't, you know, do something about this. How long and, ago was this? How long ago? Uh, I'm going to say 2015 okay. or maybe, oh, maybe even before that. Mm. And he describes it, a respiratory, the whole nine yards. And then Bill Gates has a patent to the coronavirus vaccine that was patented in 2016. Now, you're sh- how would he? Uh, because if you go to the patent thing, you'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> but then Look he didn't up know about coronavirus vaccine. He, yeah, well, maybe he did, Patty. So here's what I think elite people think. They think that this planet belongs to them. and for Okay, so for them to save this planet, because they're the chosen ones because of their money, they need to rid it of people that are just sucking up the life out of this planet. And the people that are sucking the life out of this planet are them. Okay, but you're saying... Creating... (laughs) create. Shut up. (laughs) Creating all these kinds of fumes and destroying the planet's you know, uh, ecosystem like Monsanto, who's killing all the bees and nobody's talking about that. He's, he's created a, uh, a genetically modified organism that makes food that is poisonous to all life form. Oh, the bugs are dying. When the okay, bugs minute, are before dying. Before you go into bugs, finish Bill Gates that he's trying to kill us. So, so he, in his talk, <laughs> it's, he says we have to lessen the population to save the planet. And now he, he says that? Yeah, there's there's an actual audio clip of it that I saw. And he blurbs it out. And it was just said, blah, 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 like that. And I was like, what? What did, you, what did this bitch just say? <laughs> um, but he, <laughs> supposedly one of his doctors or pediatricians that used to be his kids' pediatricians came out and said that he does not believe in immunizations for his kids. Who? 
Who? Bill Gates' doctor? Bill Gates' pediatrician for his kids. Okay. So they believe in giving everybody these shots that are really bad for the immune system to kill us off. And then they're like, oh, we have such a beautiful planet. But they're not going to kill everybody. They're going to kill enough so the planet takes a breather. And then they're going to still have enough slaves, <laughs> us, to well, run they, things. Look, so we're they already have, Exactly. We're, we're but now, slaves. Right. But now we're too many. See, here's the thing. Him and Fossey, that Fossey guy, Who's, they're oh, like to, they've the been doctor. together for years, Mr. Dr. Fossey. Him and Hillary Clinton together for uh-uh. years. If you uh-uh. go back and look, did you watch that video, Patty? Wait did a you minute. Don't <laughs> we can only do one thing at a time. We can't get into This is all the one conspiracy. <laughs> Being a sex child. What is? What was she? Okay, that I don't believe. I don't believe Hillary Clinton killed anybody. I don't believe she had sex with children with this child sex ring. I don't believe that. But here's what wait a minute, wait a minute. Nobody said shit. I don't know if she had sex with kids. That's that's weird. That's oh, I weird. I thought that was one of your things. Yeah, that was no, another I conspiracy. No, no, I did not say anything about Hillary having sex with kids. Oh, that was. I said Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton was at Epstein's Island twenty-seven times. Yeah, that I believe. There's oh, like, okay, that's okay. I, no, it's not okay. I I think he's a he's a piece of garbage. These uh, people are weird. But a lot of people went but there. That Patty, Andrew the more went money, there. the more President money. President Trump pe- went there. Listen to me. President. The more money, the more money these people make. Okay, the more twisted in their mind they become, godlike in their own head. Do you understand? Here's the thing. This is what I think. I don't think that someone is like making a master plan t- to kill everyone on the planet so that they can live. And why don't I you think th- that? Let th- me ask you. Why don't you think I, that? Wait, wait. Let me tell you what I do think. I do think that guy, the reason Bill Gates is famous, it's not because he invented all this shit with computers and whatever. He just bought everybody up. He bought the patents and he's the king of licensing. So he's not really a creator of these things. He licenses shit. He's got so much money. He buys it up. He licenses. So I think if he has anything to do with this, it's to make the vaccine and make money off it and mm-hmm. make millions mm-hmm. of dollars doing that. I don't think right. he's that's why they were that. giving away. That's why they were giving away the flu shot last year for free to everyone. What? Come get your flu shot. Every commercial. Get your flu shot. Free, free. Get lost. Listen to me. Wait, what Listen are you saying to- about a free flu shot? What's wrong with that? If they want to make money off of it, why are they giving it away for free? I don't know. Why? Where's where is it? Wait a minute, you're freezing. Listen to me. If you have a house, if you have a house, okay, Good. and someone's now all of a sudden, all these people are starting to dig on us, and you know your house is going to eventually fall and crash and blow up. Wouldn't you try to get rid of these people to to save your house? Would oh, it? so you're saying the flu shot is killing them, and they know it? Well, it's 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 destroying your immune system, so you can't fight off things. Okay, I don't think they're trying to kill you. I think, well, if, if it's free, someone's paying for it. The government's paying. Somebody's paying for it. What happened to, what happened to double blind placebo uh, testing that they don't do any of that for, for, for yeah, immunizations? Yeah, I agree. They just do that. I agree. Oh, oh now you agree. Well, why they don't they do certain it? things. So wait like, a second. So in, them, in 1986, listen to me, though. In 1986, when they took out this one line that said, we are not responsible if you die from an immunization that we gave you. Because once they took that, in the, oh yeah, well that's once, what, yeah. Listen. Once they took that out, you get. It's like me saying to you, Patty. Patty, you can take a gun and start shooting people. If you kill a few, you're not held responsible. You're not going to care to kill a few then. You're not well, even the NRA try. has something like that. They have forget something about like the that. NRA. Where that you can't. My no, point. no, but I'm I, saying it's the same thing. The NRA, you can't go back to the person who manufactured the AK, whatever the fuck it is, because people got blown up or whatever, it get killed from that. You can't go after the company. They made that rule. So that's the same thing with the medical uh, whatever. They're saying you can't go back and sue them if you die from it. Like, th- that's Here's right the either. thing. Here's the thing. They also don't give you the stats of how many people died from the shot, how many people got this reaction. They, they just, they, 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 you know, my pediatrician, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I vaccinated my children. But I am, I'm all for vaccines, but they have to be safe and they have to be tested. You know, when we were young, we got five shots. That's all we got. Now there's over 200 shots. Did you know this? All, uh, all infants are getting shot up from day one that they're born. Their, their immune systems can't even handle that. Why, why the urgency? 
Okay. I'll get I, these I shots agree, in. But certain things, childhood illness. I mean, kid, babies so need to die. So far, from, you do come need on, vaccine. stop it. They need to get their immune system. Stop being a, a, so stop wait, being a follower. P- follower. Try to do, do your own research I've on what's research. happening. I looked this up and they say that before vaccines, the childhood death rate was huge, huge. My grandmother had two kids that died in infancy. My other grandmother had two children that died in in infancy, her two twins. Babies died all the time. Listen to me, listen to me. You have to understand. First of all, they don't give you all the ingredients that are in these shots, okay? Do you know that they're using uh, fetuses that were aborted in their shots? Okay, first of all, that sounds like something from Fox News. No, it's not. Look it up. All right. I've Look it up. up. Fox News had, like, pictures of aborted baby. Yes. Adam, any thoughts? Um, I, <laughs> I used to be really into shooting fetuses, but I got through the withdrawals. <laughs> they lasted a couple of months, and I sold all my appliances. Well, it sounds, it sounds crazy, right? No, I'm just asking Adam, what, is, what does he think? Um, but it sounds I, crazy, right? I, but if you I, found out it was it, real it, and that, that I, that's what I was think, in your I immunity. I think it sounds Wait, When you listen to the Kennedy, <laughs> all right, who, who's an advocate for these kids in the shots, right? And he's telling you what's in these shots. These are scientists that are telling you what's in these shots. And you're listening to what, an hour lecture with, with, you know, 200 people sitting in there. And they're going, they have this, 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 and this in these shots. You're not saying, well, these people are conspiracy theorists. These are scientists telling you that there's a boy okay, but Kennedy, parts in these shots. Kennedy's not a scientist. Kennedy no, but is he's a politician. An, he, right, but and he's also, also an advocate for these for for the vaccines that okay, are dangerous. He's an advocate for that. I don't think he's any great leader or great follower. He treated his wife like shit. She shot, hung herself. I mean, you know, he's not the greatest guy in the world to be like following what this guy thinks. But anyway, yeah, he's for that. But there are a lot of doctors that are against it. But wait, can I ask you one other thing? What are your other conspiracies? Okay, vaccines, killing uh, Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett's, and what's his name's going to kill us? What's the other one? Warren Buffett? Yeah, wouldn't you say Warren Buffett was going to kill everybody? No, no, no. I said Bill. Bill What's the Warren Buffett thing you told me? No, I said... (laughs) I Listen, Warren Buffett's going to kill us. Why are there millions of dollars in conspiracy <laughs> theories videos out there? And I'm talking about professional Because, because, because they're, they're fun. Crazy it's, shit. Yeah, people, it's fantasy. People are lonely and they want to watch crazy shit. Then they go, that could be real. That could be it. Do you know that when I, was, when I used to be in morning radio, there was a show on about the moon landing that never happened. And if you watch the show, I'm going, that's a fucking crazy shit. And that's another one. You watch it for an hour. You go, maybe there was no moon landing. You know there's a moon landing. There was a moon landing. People walked in the moon. But people love to think that there's no moon landing. There was a fucking moon landing. You know what I mean? Like, but people love it. People like oh. So wait, so you so you're saying to me that it's completely preposterous that this guy doesn't want to uh thin the herd. I'm not saying anything is comp- once I saw, you know, honestly. Once I saw what Epstein did and got away with and had an island and brought these and all this illegal shit and all this bad shit and all these big politicians and lawyers. And all these underground bunkers, all these underground bunkers, all these underground tunnels. Go ahead, Adam. that. That makes sense, though, because it's about guys fucking. Like, if it's about guys getting laid, it's like, I get the motivation, but I don't really know what the motivation is to uh, shoot a baby into your arm. You know what I mean? Or like... No, no, no. That's, that's well, no. That's part of whatever it is that the they're, how race. they're making it, the, 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 the uh, vaccine. I don't know what the, why they would put that in there. The lobbyist for big baby. No, I don't know what, I don't know what that is. I don't know what, why they would do that. Right. All right. What's what's the point but, of it? What, but, but that's what but I'm saying. But supposedly it's, it's like, one of the one of the ingredients in right. a vaccine is. Well, I fetuses. know that they were using certain things for um, in umbilical cords. I forget what it was. Yeah, the b- blood cord. Mm. But here's what I want to say. I wish Kareth Foster was here because you know what? She's Kareth a little smarter. Foster. What is she? Yeah, have? she's a lot smarter than I am. And she she talks about these vaccines and how harmful they are to children. And, and you know, it's like it, these are studies being done. Well, here's so, the thing. People came out and said, oh, it causes autism. When, when my kids were little, they were like, it causes autism. Don't do it. Then every scientific thing that came out after said it does not cause autism. Now, meanwhile, 
my friend had a daughter. We all got the same shots. Her daughter had autism. My kids don't have autism. So, I, but anyway, I, I don't believe that uh, the vaccines cause autism. I think people get like going on this shit and then they start putting it out there like Jenny McCarthy and all these celebrities. And then everybody starts believing this shit. Well, when you didn't have autism, uh, when we were kids and all of a sudden you have one out of 50 kids. No, has the thing. Back in the day. <clears throat> wrong again. Don't even fucking say that. Back wait, in the day, but we didn't there, know what to call it. Bullshit. Wasn't Don't there vaccinations me, back then though? One in 50 though? kids today <laughs> has autism. Uh, and okay. when we had a retarded kid in our school, because they were retarded. Well, retarded is called. different than autism. Okay. Yeah. When we had that, when we were young, right? When we had that. Yes. The kid looked different. You can't tell an autistic kid now. You can't tell. Look, look at Janie O'Connor. She's a comic, okay? Her kid was completely, you know, she got videotape of the kid talking and with mama and ba 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 Kid gets a shot. He zones out in six months. That's what because, the fuck are you talking about? Okay, wait, that's I, because autism comes in at a certain age, which is like oh, two years old. No, listen, oh. at two years old. So the shots you're getting around that time is the same time that autism comes in, whether they, they, that baby has the shot or not the shot. Same thing, like when, when you have schizophrenia, you don't get it at the age of six. Okay, so here's what I want to tell you. Why don't, okay, so then why don't they wait till the kid is five to start the immunizations? Because then the kid can get all those things mm -hmm. and, and die. So you want to get- What things? All sorts of diseases that they give you. Patty, my, I have so many friends that have never immunized their children. I do too. Have, hold on. They've never had one cold. My one friend's daughter never had an ear infection, never had a cold, common cold, never had anything. The kid is never sick. Well, yeah, I'm, how do you, I'm how do you sold. Explain that? What about Adam? you, Patty? <laughs> I'm totally sold. <laughs> wait, but I have a question. Okay, I have a, I, but, wait, but hold, hold on. I have a, I have a, I just have a question though. When did they? Because, and I really don't know this, so I'm asking. Like, when did did immunizations change at some point? Like, haven't in you guys' generation weren't people immunized, and in my yes, generation, yes, but 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 you so only had you only had so we had like let's say six, five or six of them, oh, okay. right? There's more of then, them now. That's all my kids had was like there's six. over there's over seventy two now, but they're oh, okay. they're planning on doing. 200 of them. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're, they're putting, they're putting <laughs> one shot is going to have six vir whatever things, six diseases in one shot they're going to do now. Well, I do. What do you do think know. the immune system can handle at infant? Here's the thing. infant I, that just came out of you, that just came off of your immune system that has no immune system. You tell me what's going to happen. Wait, tell here's me. the thing. When my daughters were 12, my, my, and that my pediatrician told me, Get your daughters to get that shot uh, so that they don't get cervical cancer. So you're mm. like, is this really necessary? They go, once your kid is sexually active, the shot, you can't even do it anymore. You got to do it when your daughter's 12 and it's two shots, one and then six months later. Okay. 10 years later, they're like, no, don't get that shot. That's not a good shot to get. It's having bad blah, 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 blah. So yeah. And my pediatrician said, oh, I'm going to give it to my daughter, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So that's an example on your side. But well, I here's what happened with it, with that, with the HPV shot, the Gardasil shot. What, what started happening was all the, they banned it in so many countries. So many girls and boys were dying from it and becoming paralyzed. Oh, and, yeah, Gardasil. That's what it was called. And uh, seizures and this, that. By the third shot, kids were dying. Like, uh, like one, yeah, yeah, one lady spent three years watching her daughter deteriorate from the shot and not being able to get out of bed. And finally the girl died and the mother is so heartbroken. She goes, if I would have known, she goes, but I trusted my pediatrician because just like, just like these doctors, they're being brainwashed saying that these shots are Well, good they believe should... it when they tell you it. So, but, um, so, so, the <laughs> so as, uh, you know, as a parent, you got to say, well, let me see, let me look up the statistics of how many kids died, how many kids got paralyzed, how many kids, you know, you see a little boy, you see him, they, they had a video of him, uh, normal, right? And then they showed him where they had him in one of those chairs with something holding up his head. And he was, his mother was talking for him and he was crying. No, I understand this is all happening. Now, when you know that there's a slight chance that that could happen, but if you, you are you going to line your kid up to get that if, fucking shot? If you think there's a slight chance your kid's going to die if they don't get a vaccination, I'm going to give my kid the vaccination. I don't right. want my kid dying. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, well, here's, well, well, he, he, but he, but yeah. listen to me. You got to do your research, you, but you got to do the research beforehand, honey. You got to research when do women get cervical cancer at F fifty five? Okay. From banging too many guys without a condom. That's what it's Oh, called. that's not true. That's you not can't true. have two different semen I, in your kooky. In your kooky. <laughs> your kooky. Uh, not, <laughs> not what I'm, not what I'm, <laughs> that's really what when it is. The more partners you have, the more chance you have of getting cancer. That's not what I'm talking about. You're, you're, you're when does the cancer? When does the cancer show up? After the age of 55, okay, in women, 55 to 65, whatever, you're going to get the cervical cancer, right? But a pap smear can detect the cells changing in the cervix and then they can remove it. But wait a minute. So cut to a 12-year-old or a 9-year-old now, a 9-year-old now getting that shot. It only lasts for seven years. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Okay. So now they're saying anybody can get the shot up to age 45. So if you've had all these multiple partners and you got it, and it only covers you on, for four strands of HPV, what about all the rest of the strands of HPV? Well, did, that's did you, you know you that? Shot, it's only for one flu. But wait a minute. Should we change the subject? I feel like this is becoming because you're, you're losing. No, you're I'm losing not losing. The battle. Like you're losing. Medical infomercial. Yeah. Should we change the subject? I do. I yes. do. I do like the idea that uh, more, more. Sperm. Testing. Wait, what did you say? Sperms in your kooky might cause problems. <laughs> but I think that if you're lonely, if you're if you're like a you very you get lo- a lot of sperm in your kooky well, when you're lonely. yeah, like if you're lonely, like if you're being quarantined for coronavirus, maybe uh, if you got some more sperms in your kooky, in your kooky, that could I help. have quarantined my husband for a month. He's got his own room. He's got no, his Gary, own room. Does he Wait really? Now that he's home from working, though, can you bang him now or no? Oh, God, no, Patty. He's still in quarantine. <laughs> Are you using quarantine a as a reason excuse. to not bang your exactly. husband? He's in quarantine for the next year and a half, Adam. <laughs> you guys should be banging. That would be like, uh, what else are you going to do? How, wouldn't it be fun? I'm doing a puzzle. Do you guys want to see my puzzle? <laughs> oh, boy. This is not a good infomercial for my me mother getting used married. To do the age of- you know what's so funny? My daughter does puzzles too. Molly does them. I am only the- smart people can do puzzles. I know. My daughter's very smart. My mother was very smart. I can't do puzzles. I have no patience. When I- but I like crossword puzzles. But I am still banging my husband. And I will tell you, Carrie, if you do it in quarantine, it's like mm-hmm. vacation sex. I've really I've decided this. It's like you've got no place to go, no place to be. It's like the most fun sex. Try it. Okay, I no, because I have two kids in this house, and <laughs> thanks. You have everywhere where I, you have doors minute, that close, I'm, right? Listen, my door could be open all day long. Nobody's coming near it. The minute I close my door, they're all barreling through. I'm like, the door's closed. It's been <laughs> open all day. When I close it, that means I'm either taking a shower or mommy's got no clothes on. Something. But I know I could never do it when my kids were in the house. Though. Banging on the bathroom door. You I mean, gotta have your kids go outside. This is what my, our parents used to do. Send the kid outside. You locked the doors. You locked the. When I go to my friend's house, the mother. Would they don't. They don't allow. They don't go out. They don't want to go out. They don't want to go out. You know what I've done? Too since, bad. You make them go out. I've been locked in for a month. Okay. Yeah. I have cleaned every inch of this house. I've changed the bed sheets every three, every two to three days that you get new bed sheets. I do laundry after laundry after laundry. Okay. Every day I get another phone call. Sorry, we got to move the date from May. I'm like, yeah, May? Every day. May. Every day I'm getting another date removed from my calendar. I'm like, this, oh, yeah. and you know, okay. So I've cleaned everything. I've cooked everything. I, 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 I'm, I'm over this. You're a maniac. But here's the thing. I don't do that. See, if you bang your husband, he does all that. My husband does the cooking. <laughs> he does the grocery shopping. Well, no, Sam. It. Listen, Sam went out. He cleaned out the whole shed. Really? Sam's been fixing everything that's broken in this house. He put up a whole new railing on my stairs. I mean, I, I, you know what? It's really weird. Okay, it's terrible. Coronavirus and people are dying. I do know that. It's horrible. But for being home, it's like a reset. On everything you have to, my husband's been out. Yeah. My husband has lost over twenty pounds. He's lost about twenty three pounds, whatever it is, so far. He's I lost back. fifteen. Really? Yeah, I can't eat. Oh my! How goodness. can you eat when people are freaking dying? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I still have my appetite. He's out there pulling up fucking trees. He's carrying rocks. He's doing all this bullshit in the backyard. I think that's how I got my ticks. But anyway, he's doing all that stuff, and he's like lost all this weight. It's kind of like. It's like redoing your house. You How know? many ticks mm-hmm. did you get? One. No, I got one under my tit, 
big one behind my knee, one oh down my on my ankle. So I don't think it's a tick. I think it's something else. But my doctor, I, he said, just keep taking the antibiotic. You so have to. You don't want to get Lyme disease. I, I mean, know. you know, I don't you, think you, it's a tick if, anymore. if it's a Lyme, is there a circle? Was there a circle ring? No, it's just a big red, bl- rash. dark red rash all the way yeah, down the back. That's of my- Lyme. But then why do I get one under my tit and on my ankle? Like was it in? Tit? Was it inside you? Did you pull a tick off you? No, there was no tick. And then under my tit, no tick. And on my vacuum. Tit. <laughs> I do probably need to vacuum more. I did change my sheets. Vacuum the freaking house. You probably built a couple of ticks in your house. Or maybe one tick bit you three times. I don't know. Yeah. It's very not, scary. I'm not as clean as you are. Adam, what are you doing? You live alone, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what do you, you just stay, do you talk to me? You have a girlfriend or anything? What's happening? Uh, there's a, th- yeah, kind of. I have visitors. What kind of? What kind of an answer? <laughs> I order. That's such a millennial answer. I order in. Kind of, what? Uh, I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm mostly by my, by myself. I mean, I'm, I see so many people every day cause I'm podcasting like this, like I'm doing, so, you don't feel so I have, or- no, not at all. Cause I have so much interaction with people, but yeah, there, I mean, there's a, you know, a girl I am talking to, so she comes and visits. Where is she? Girl you're talking to. That's not good, Adam. You got to be well, careful. Where does she go? You know, is she, is she's she's quarantined. Quarant- she's herself? quarantined too. Yeah, like we're both. We don't it, it touch anybody else. So it's oh, like, okay. Oh, so sure? she's at home. And yeah. what are you? Yeah. With her parents. Listen. No, just by her. she lives alone. Are you too. going out? Are you who's cooking for you? What are you doing? Are you eating at home? Uh, I'm mostly cooking at home. Yeah, yeah. I love to cook, so this has been like a fun, you know. Like as we talked about at the top of the show, I'm a little bit gay, so I'm working on my <laughs> recipes, and uh, you know, I'm into home decor, so I'm getting to do a lot of projects and stuff. Plus, I'm working pretty much full time still. So, how's your okay, parents? Time. Yeah, they're great. I mean, my parents Good. live in like rural Minnesota, so like they're social distancing already like there's no people around so So that's i think i'm gonna move after this because you know what i'm gonna tell you one thing where you move i don't know what this was i don't know if this was biochemical warfare could be that could be or it was really from from some market in china but supposedly they opened up the markets again and they're still killing dogs and whatever they're doing wuhan they're back they're back up and running where it started there's right, no- so why would they allow that if, if this was actually from the market? You know what? They have uh, – they've got all the testing and everything over there. That's well, the problem. They, also saw they can the test whole- people and then you know if you've had it or you're not, if it's okay to go out. Over there, they test you. If you have anything, a fever, what you're not allowed to go home to your house or to the neighborhood. Yeah, but why are they allowing building? the markets to be well, open because, again? Those because they, because there, you, there's the whole arc of the situation, right? We're, we're still on the incline as far as cases go. We may have like – apex in new york but they've they had it a longer ago so they already went through the whole arc plus china that's not that's not the argument well, okay what's the your argument, argument is is if supposedly this came from china in the wet markets right, right yeah why wouldn't you shut it down i know if uh, if if there was a place that was spitting mm. out uh, uh you know tubercula uh, not tubercula salmonella a factory of chicken mm. being salmonella they shut down that factory and say, "Sorry, you can't do this anymore because you just infected all these people." Well, because th- it's China; I, they don't give a fuck. You well, know I what think I mean? they like, also no, no. probably have restricted it quite a bit. I don't think that they opened back up and they just went like, "Okay, we'll put the bats on top of the chickens, on top of the aardvarks." You know, <laughs> like I think they probably changed. Some if it things. came from a bat, if it came from a bat and not a, a lab, you know what I mean? Well, somebody. De- a scientist debunked it and said, there's no way that this could cross from an animal to a human. Yeah, there's that's no- what I think, too. I think it's a bio thing. And I think either it was put out on purpose or it was put out by mistake. But I think it's from a lab. I don't believe. But the what best happened story. to the guy from Harvard who got arrested? What was all that about? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't think re- Patty and I. I I'm not up on all. We, I don't think we subscribe to that newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it was on the news. Carrie, it was don't. on the news. Here's oh. the thing. You didn't hear about it? Mm-mm. No, I don't. I can't watch the news. Kevin puts the news on. I go, I'll watch for five minutes. I look on the thing. And then I'm like, I'm done for the day. Don't, don't. And when I'm trying to eat and he's in the other room with the TV on and they're talking about this shit, I'll, I'll start. Uh, then I can't fall asleep at night. Then I can't eat. I go, I can't eat. You got to turn this shit off. So, well, they had, they had the news that the, some guy, scientist from Harvard, was receiving $50,000 a month. 
He got living expenses of $128,000. I don't know. It was like crazy money, crazy money that he was getting from China. And um, he got arrested. Oh, he's arrested. Oh, Oh, he's been arrested now. Yeah, who up. knows? Who knows where know. it came from? I don't know what I don't know what the deal is, but I, I that I do believe it could be anything. I don't know. I, eventually, and we may never know. Like, you know, you always think, oh, the truth will come out. I still don't know. Okay, so talking about conspiracy theories with Oswald and all I still mm. think that that was a conspiracy. You know, every time you hear more things like people who went up. So you don't think that was real, that that you don't think that that he was murdered? What did, no, what I the, think who? Kennedy? I think Kennedy yeah. Was murdered, but do I think it was uh, that little guy who did it all by himself? No. I think so now so. you're a conspiracy theorist. Well, I know. I am about that. Mm, because there's too many things about why? that. Why? Because there's facts. Too many people died oh, after that. When, you, when you're reading them, they're facts. When I'm reading them, they're nonsense. They're you Facebook nonsense. love about nonsense. Carrie and me. We so see everything completely <laughs> ah, yeah, you do. differently. And at the same time, I feel like we kind of see things the same in a weird way. Yeah. There's something because you know deep down inside I'm right. <laughs> no, you're both you're both completely insane. Crazy, just, just like yeah, we two are di- crazy. In two That's different what I'm ways. attracted to. But just I in two loved, different ways, yeah. I love Carrie's craziness and her passion about it because I have a craziness and a passion about like other things like OCD and about my laundry, can't touch my laundry. And if I do something horrible, it's going to happen. Like my things are different, but I recognize it in Carrie and I like it, but I might disagree with it. Okay. So I was always a germaphobe. I, I James from Governors, uh, I made him buy a giant thing of Purell and, and for me, and he would keep it at the bar and because uh, you have to say goodbye to the crowd. And I would shake <laughs> their hands and then I'd be like, give me Purell, quick, quick, quick. And I would put it on my face. I would put Purell really? on my hand. Well, people would kiss me. I mean, why do people kiss people? Oh, that doesn't bother me. Really? It's bizarre. We don't people need to hug kiss. You and I always say, I'm covered in sweat. So they go, I don't care. And you can feel your face just slide on their face. Cause I can't. I can't. So I would Purell myself after every show. So when this all happened, I looked at him and I go, aren't you happy? I made you buy, you know, five cases of Purell. <laughs> That's true. I never used that shit because I always thought it was bad for you. The only thing I'm weird about is you can't touch my laundry. I don't give a shit. You can touch me. You can touch my hands. But if I'm going to fold my laundry and my hands are dirty and I forgot to wash them before, I fold, then I got to rewash my laundry and then wash my... It's like, it's a mental illness. But the other stuff, you can touch my hands. Just as long as you don't touch my hands and then I got to do my laundry. Anyway. Adam, do you have any conspiracy theories? And Patty, shush, let him answer. No, ah! I'm, I'm, I'm very... No. I don't. I mean, I, no, be- I believe no there's probably certain things that uh, aren't exactly how they are seen. Like the thing that you met, like the uh, Kennedy assassination. I think that there's probably funny business in a lot of situations, but I'm just like, I don't fucking know. And I don't think that I have access as just a normal citizen. I don't feel like I have access to that information, even if it was there. So I just... I just got shit to do. Like, I don't have time for any of this. See, this is the thing with regular people. Like, we're regular people. <laughs> we only want to live a normal life. We want to have enough money to go out and have a vacation once in a while. You know, go to have a couple of barbecues, have some friends over. We want to live a nice, That's life, right. well, quiet life. We are getting, what? What, 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 I, what I was going to say, though, is like all this true crime, all this like n- these Netflix documentaries and all that stuff, that is a version of it. And I'm super into that. So if it's entertaining. What's that a version of? What's that a version uh, of? It's a ver- like the whole make, uh, making a murderer or even like this Tiger King thing. Like that's that's also based on like conspiracies and kind of uh, – things not being as they seem. So in a way, yeah, like I am very into it. I'm just into different ones is all. Yeah, have, you not- heard of, have you heard of Q? No. Well, Q is this whole, uh, I, can't, I don't even know to be honest with you, but they keep sending me, uh, my friends keep sending me videos from this guy Q, from this thing Q, which is supposedly an underground trying to expose the government of all these kind of corrupt things. And they come up with some really good ones and you're like, Wow. But I get it from like a almost like an entertainment standpoint. Like I understand why you're interested in it. I just don't. I don't. I mean, I well, don't I'm the same hard. way with true crime, Adam. I love it. Right. And, and 
I and and like when you find out shit that happened where people get put away and it gets covered up and there's bad cops and there's bad yeah. detectives mm-hmm. and people who make these kids do false confessions. And when you oh, find God. out all this shit, like with the, the Central Park Five and the, all, all these things and you're just like, uh, so what it seems isn't what it is. So yeah. that is, that's what yeah. you do like about that stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's well, like, look, that's like the, porn the, to me. That's amazing. I love it. So yeah. right. good. Well, look at the guy Ep- Epstein, right? They said he, yeah. he killed himself. No. But there's no video. There's no proof yeah, of the body. Know. Right. There's Too no- many people wanted that guy dead. The- but hold on a Definitely. second. There's no proof of a body. The security guards both were sleeping, both of them. And then they both stepped down and nobody saw a body. Nobody knows. Maybe for all we know, this guy was moved. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. also said the the like uh, pressure on his neck was not consistent with hanging at all. Like I think that they said it was it would have had to have been a, some kind of strangulation or also like that. two weeks before whenever it was his roommate. Uh, he said his roommate tried to kill him and choke him to death. So that was the first mm. attempt to have him killed. They probably paid that guy or whatever they did, and he didn't kill him. So then they did it a second time, and it went through. It just looks so bad. That I can't imagine. This guy's got all the money in the world. I'm sure he thought he would beat the rap. There would be no reason for him to want to kill himself. I, I'm sure he thought, listen, if you have that much money and you've got all these rich guys in your corner who don't want anything exposed, they're going to make it so he would walk, that he would get out in some way. I don't do know, a- though. Look at Weinstein, though. Like, he didn't walk. And he's, like, the richest, most powerful guy. He was so well, exposed. True. It was. It, it, there was no way he could. There was no way he. You could. You think di- he was different than than Epstein? He was this more exposed. Was, yeah, because he had nothing on anyone. It was all on him. It was oh, all. Okay. You're right. It's mm, all on him. Mm, but Epstein right. brought all these guys in. That's probably sure. his way that he covered himself so he wouldn't. He brings in presents. Because he had it hanging over their heads. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And he had information. He probably had. Who knows what he has. Who knows if they, like they said, they found things in his safe, you know, he had videos and every, who knows what's on those videos? Who knows anything that, you know, w- w- we don't know. But anyway, I do believe, yeah, that guy was killed. I, I don't believe that. But the thing with the Warren report, like, I do believe the Warren report was a cover up. And that was George Bush Sr., I think, was the head of the CIA then. But there were too many things in that Warren report that were all wrong. And people who would question the Warren report all of a sudden would show up dead. So anyway, but that's what I believe in. I believe. But in I don't know what, you know, like you only believe there's only, they control everything, the media and everything. So it's like how to find, how do you find out anything? You really can't. It's like if I wanted to cheat on Sam, I could. He would never find out. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait but you this might podcast, not want to. <laughs> this podcast just took a turn. <laughs> I was going to say you also might not want to say it on a, on a broadcast <laughs> you know, if you were going to. I'm just saying, if you want to get away with something, you probably could. How would you do it so we wouldn't know? But, mm-hmm. I mean, you know. Yeah, walk us through that process. W- walk us through the actual cheating and not knowing. Mm-hmm. Let me think. Let me think of how I would do you it. You go on the road. Road gig. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. gig. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. And he's not even going to ask. That's true. My husband doesn't even think of me as cheating. You know what I mean? Like, it's not in his, you know, the other day, this is absolutely true. We're in the middle of banging and I go to him right in the middle of it. I go, you ever cheat on me? And he goes (laughs) like this. He goes, no. And I go, no, that's all you have to say. I go, that's a weird question for me to ask in the middle of banging you. Why would you say, of course not, never. What do you... And it was just a no. And he goes, well, you know, we're in the middle of doing Yeah, you're stuff. kind of in the middle of something. I don't something. want to get the conversation. But all of a sudden I thought of it like, well, you know, you know how your mind wanders when you're doing stuff? And I thought, well, I should know this because I don't want to catch anything if he did anything. I go, you would tell me, right? You know? Now, Patty, now out of all, you know, yeah, of all 20 times, years, why did you think of it you're going to catch something now. now you also, no, he wouldn't fell tell down you. A long time ago. <laughs> My crutch did fall down a long time ago. Um, but you know, you do, you do, they don't even think of that, but like, here's how you get caught. Here's how you get caught. So let's say you cheat with somebody. Okay. (laughs) Then you come home and you're feeling guilty. Now you stop fooling around with him. And all of a sudden you're like, he's like, why is she fooling around with me? You got to keep things the same way. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. You Mm -hmm. can't bring anything new in or actually. Can't lose weight. You can't get all pretty. Like that's what they they say. They always catch guys cheating on women because all of a sudden they drop weight, you know, because they have a girlfriend now. They're grooming down there. They're getting clothes. They're they're doing their hair. They're giving a shit, (laughs) you know. (laughs) Well, that's when Kevin, that's because Kevin started, had started going to the gym 
for like a month before the coronavirus shut down all the gyms. But that is, and he wears the black underpants now. So I see him in black underpants. And they're That's like. That's a good cover up for the shit stains. Shorts. And then he does, and then he's losing all this weight. So I'm like, what's going on? Did here? you think you know? for a second maybe you turned another one? Turned another. <laughs> That's hilarious, well, Adam. Gay guys wear black underpants. <laughs> well, you know. What color do you wear, Adam? You know what? To be honest, I am wearing black uh, Tommy John Please. boxer race right now. So yeah, that's what he wears. Yeah, stretchy ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what he likes now. Oh, maybe really Kevin and I are banging. Huh? Maybe we're having. Maybe we got something going on on the side. <laughs> Who are you and Kevin? Yeah, Ke- no, no, uh, my Kevin, husband. Her, her Kevin. Oh, Kevin Powers. Um, you know what I realized? I t- said to my husband, I could never cheat because you should see what I look look like in the morning. It's like <laughs> that's why you. Could I never cheat. look like a ninety year old mental patient. When I <laughs> sleep, my head sweats, and I wake up literally, my hair is like, and then I've got like these big rings under my eyes, and I look like the the the. I don't know. I look like a fucking. And my body. But, but they don't see you. They don't see that you look like that until you, after you already cheated the next morning. So why would that stop you? I mean, I would leave, you're saying. Yeah. I would leave. And you are, you're already a cheater then, so. But my other problem with cheating is I have high anxiety right before I do it. So I would, even with, with the man I know and love for mm-hmm. 17 years, imagine with someone new, the anxiety, I would be like, oh, oh, I have to pee 16 times before I do it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's too much work. They'd be like, okay, next, you know. Yeah, no one's going to stick around while you're peeing the whole time. <laughs> oh, yeah, a guy would never want to wait like 35 seconds. <laughs> to get laid. But what if you pee like five times? Like the you guys, think you're peeing guy, and you come back, you go, oh, maybe I have to pee again. Okay, uh, maybe just one more time. A guy with a hard dick is going to wait as long as he needs to. It's not going to matter. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Adam. Adam knows. Trust me. So this girl, uh, what's the deal with her, Adam? You love her? Uh, it's like, no. It's brand, uh, it's brand new. But she, she, this is a cool. quarantine girl. Yeah. It's br- <laughs> well, no, it's brand new, but I think it would be cool if it, you know, because uh, you could have a quarantine buddy, you know? Does she see you that way or she thinks you're the next Mr. I have no husband? idea. I have no idea. Okay. So it's no. Well, Very Adam, new. let me ask you another question. Sure. You're not looking for anything, right? You're not uh, really. Now I'm open. I'm open to it again. Yeah, I wasn't for um, uh, several months. But he had the I'm, crazy girl who wouldn't it leave. Was, well, it was, oh. yeah, it was a bad, it was a bad situation. So, but now I'm, I'm open to it. Yeah, it's been like four or five months, so I'm cool now. I think it would just be, I don't know, to meet someone. My what? daughter just moved in with a, a new boyfriend because her roommates were. Molly did? No, Anna. Oh, An- okay. Anna broke up with the other boyfriend. And then she's oh. moved in with a guy, but she's only known him like Wait, six weeks. But didn't because she... her roommates are gallivanting around the world and, and and talking to people and doing everything. And she's like, I, I can't. She's having anxiety living there because they keep traveling and staying in hotels and doing things. So she's like, I'm moving in with a boyfriend for a while. I think that's probably safer because then they're only exposed to each other. Yeah, yeah. Because you want to limit your, limit yeah. your exposure. And that's good that the boyfriend's mm-hmm. taken her in because some boyfriends don't want any part of he, I know. He offered. I know. I said that to her. I go, she, I know. And she's, you know, she's very standoffish because of the last boyfriend. So, you know, she doesn't want to get involved again. But. Uh, yeah. But if you're, a, if you're in a situation where her and this guy, they're seeing each other and it's going well. Yeah. And she's freaking out because her uh, roommates aren't social distancing. Right. I mean, any guy that's a halfway decent guy is going to go, hey, come stay with me. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, I mean, I think if he didn't do that, if he didn't offer, it, he's probably not a great guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what else, Carrie? Any other any other conspiracies that we should cover? Not really. I mean, the only <laughs> that's the only one. It's not even like a conspiracy, really. It's just people's questioning on... Uh, the, the, the why so much pushing? Well, I get the why so much pushing on the vaccines, but because um, it's a money maker. But the 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 non testing of the vaccines is what's what was the what's the yeah. There's thing. a lot of non testing of everything, but you know, it's I, I, this is my thing that I do believe is that because the 
because the big pharma owns everything. They really don't want things that are going to make you better because they're pushing all this other shit. So I'm a big proponent that a weed could really help the world. And then you wouldn't need anti-anxiety medication. A lot of it you could get rid of. Just give them some, you know, you, you have medical marijuana. And I think it would help so much better than all But this why don't they pass that? Because the medical big pharma doesn't own doesn't own the weed distribution, whatever. So they don't own it yet. So they can make more money pushing all this other shit. It's all about money with them. It's not about getting better. So that I do believe. Yeah, and I, I, be I, I believe I, in I that believe stuff too. Weed yeah. is the answer to so many things. I really do. And it's natural. And yeah, some people have bad reactions to it. You have to know how much to take of it and how much to, if, if you're doing it in a gummy form or, you know, young kids, obviously, you know, I'm not saying kids need to go out and smoke weed. I, you know, adults, medical or adults who know how to do it where you don't go off the deep end and have, you know, you can smoke too much weed and think you're hallucinating or whatever, you know, the right amount, you can help you with anxiety, help you with insomnia, help you with pain, help you with like a million things like that. So anyway, wait, so are you able to, are we able to talk about smoking <laughs> like uh, you, one of I us do- on here possibly using pot? I won't say I do porn. use pot. Okay, you're okay with talking about that? It's illegal, but in my house, is it illegal? Not really, but how is that? Is that helping? And are yeah. you, like, doing it enough? No, I only use it when I'm desperate, when I can't sleep, mm. either from complete anxiety, then I take it, or when I, um, I'm i in extreme pain on my neck because of my, my surgery, mm-hmm. if I'm in extreme pain. I don't do it for fun. I'm going to hang out. Are you out, using smoke. the, like, vape juice? I do the vape, but you know what? I used something the last time that was different and my brain was going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. That's what happens to me. I couldn't fall asleep and I was having anxiety on it. I don't know what it was. It was different than the one I used to use. Okay. Yeah, because that's why I I don't know how to, that's the problem. That's why if it were like, if dispensaries, then you could say, what does this do? What? But you know, someone goes, oh, I've got this. Now they, it's not like your other one. They have, they have, they open, have you heard of MedMen? No, that's like a, it's a weed dispensary, but they open one in Manhattan now. So you could potentially go get like legit. I don't know how it works, though, because I don't. But I it's know. illegal in New York. I thought you have to have. A I think med- you have to have a medical card, but you could. I might. You could I easily could get, get one. one. You would just walk into a place and they would be like, OK, yeah, give her. Yes, give my her, neck give and her. anxiety. You got, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you. I know, Carrie, you don't do any of that. No, I, I, I can't. I it, it, it just the. Pot experience I had wasn't like yours. I think it, yeah. it you it doesn't agree with you like it does me too. I, I just go completely crazy and I get paranoid and you do. Gonna, yeah, it's a, the worst. Yeah, all different kinds. Have you tried different strains? I've tried every strain. I've tried. I've tried like really. Yeah, I've tried even the medical one. But I, I do I, think I haven't tried. I haven't tried medical. You, but, I did so try I, one D, uh, okay experience that I had was. Um, I did. I vaped. One of my, one of my friends had like the vape juice, and that actually. That's why I asked you if maybe you tried that because that agreed yeah. with me a little better. And it was just like a blend. It yeah, it's like- so calming, and you. Just, I don't do a lot. I literally one hit. Good night. I'm going to sleep. That's mm-hmm. it. But I don't know. Now I'm kind of afraid of it because whatever somebody gained, it was like all wrong, and I'm laying mm-hmm. there like my mind I, is going. You might have just. It's, how yeah. is it that you took it? Was it? I took it in a in a different kind of a pen. Also, okay. the pen was bigger, but it was a and it gave pen. me. You know, usually you do the pen and you see the lights at the end, mm-hmm. and this one didn't have the lights in the end. So you keep pulling, and you don't know how much you pull. So in. you you just you probably took in a little too much, is what much. it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, that's probably yeah, what it was. You got to just kind of yeah, like, you probably overdosed. <laughs> yeah, you OD'd. <laughs> I, I OD'd on the weed, but that's the beauty of it. You don't really OD on it. That's what I like mm-hmm. about it. A lot of that other shit you can OD on it. Well, anyway. you can you can do too much to where your your brain kind of does because then you you have not a good high. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to Carrie's head? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm you, doing you, the puzzle. <laughs> doing a puzzle. Wait a minute, Carrie, come back. All right, come up, come back. Talk more about your m- more things. What are some more ones? I don't have any more ones. Here's what I do want to say. Go ahead. Everybody's kid is doing homeschooling. Okay, don't. I can't, the reason why I'm paying the taxes I'm paying is because I'm not a teacher and because I don't, you know, I graduated eighth grade, you know, that's about it. Mm 
I so, can't believe that with you. I can't believe you didn't go to high school. It's so funny. I did. I did. But it was for fun. Um, <laughs> so For shits and giggles. Pretty much. So now I, I've got to be doing their homework. I, I can't do it. I don't even know how to turn the computer on to find out where their classes are, let alone do their homework with them. Right. But anyway, my, my son's pretty good. He goes, he good does it, you know, and he's done within like an hour. And she's like, I'm like, what, did you do your homework? He's like, yeah, I'm done. She's on her phone. <laughs> the, you know, I don't know how many, I, I could, I, I would say my daughter has about 10,000 selfies of herself since this started. <laughs> and um, so I go, you did your homework? I, she's like, yeah. I'm like, and then she'll say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'll be like, okay, okay. And then all of a sudden, like a month later, I'll get, She's missing this, 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 this. She's missing like 20,000, uh, you know, homeworks. I'm so like, she just lies to you, you mean? Yeah. She took, she took <laughs> after me to a T. Because mm-hmm. you would just say, I did whatever to your parents. Mm-hmm. She so is- my parents were right off the boat Greek, so they you were like, get away oh, with blood. Yeah. They didn't get it, you know. Did they speak English well, your parents? No, your mother doesn't. No. Your father, yes. He was better, yeah. But, yeah. but again, my mother was smarter, like book smart. He was, he was, he, he built an empire with not even knowing how to speak or read or write English or Greek. Okay. That's how smart he really? was. Really? Yeah. So he didn't have a, a, an education past, uh, what, like grade school, you mean? I don't even think he went to grade school. I think his parents made him um, sell like lottery and nuts on the streets when he was little. All his brothers and sisters, though. There were six of them. They all went to school, but he was the last one. He was the littlest. And they were like, ah, he doesn't have to go to school. That's so, so he, funny. He never learned how to read or write. And he um, he made, you know, like he was such a hard worker, my father, that he had like three jobs and he bought a house and that was a big accomplishment. He bought cars. Then he bought his own restaurant. I mean, he was really a true, you know, American, like, you know, he made an empire out of. Yeah, yeah. Out and of it, being nobody. Travis Bar. Right? The restaurant and bar down in Manhattan. I know. It's funny when they're so smart. Like, yeah. my dad. If he would have went to school, he probably would have been whatever. My dad never went to school past, uh, I don't know, grade school or whatever it was. Because he would collect, he'd go to the golf ranges because his father was an alcoholic and never came home. So the mother had no money. And it was during the Depression, and my dad would go out and collect golf balls on the golf course. He was little. He, he goes, I don't know whether he was lying to me. My father. He goes, oh, yeah, I was a little kid. I was five years old. I go, your mother let you out when you were five? He goes, yeah, I would just walk down to the golf course. I'd find all the balls. Yeah, but that was what, 19, you know, 27? He was, he was born in 1919. So if he was five, it was 1920. 324. That's when the Depression. He'd go but down. But they weren't doing bad things to kids then. I think maybe, yeah, he, shit, bad things did happen to him, actually, in a men's room when he was a little kid. But Uh-oh. people didn't know about that. I mean, I don't know. That's sort of a rumor that might have happened. But anyway, um, but he would he didn't say. He would you think say he, that was a conspiracy theory? He said something uh, bad. Yeah. He said something bad happened, but I don't know what that means. But anyway. Well, you know, if ball, he said it, that means something happened to him. Something bad happened. He'd get a penny a ball, and he'd bring them home, all the pennies to his mother, and that's what they would eat. They would eat on all his golf pennies. So when he went to school, they would eat on his balls. (laughs) Exactly. But that's what these people did. Like, and education isn't important to people who are starving. You know, they just, they need the fucking pennies from the balls, you know? But anyway, and he was a caddy when he was 10 years old. I mean, you know, these people, they worked their asses off or they didn't eat food. You know? Right. Right. That's what it was like in the day. Not like Adam, when everything was handed to you, Adam. Oh, yeah, because right. everything was handed to me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> are you considered, you're not considered a millennial, are you? No. You're, I'm at you're, the very, you're I'm, a, I'm considered a zillennial, I believe is what, what it's the, right. What is that? It's, uh, it's, there's, it's a very tiny, like, it's just like three or four year uh, between millennial and Generation X because they don't consider us, I guess, millennials. Cause we, okay, we, so. So it was the boomers, then it was the Generation X, then it was you, mm-hmm, the then, Z, yeah, then millennial, and yeah, then the millennial. millennial. 
So you're in between a millennial and, and Generation X. Yeah, because I grew up when you know without cell phones, without the internet, without all this tech. But and then in my generation, that all happened. So they kind of see us as like a transitional period because we don't have the the same uh, traits as a lot of millennials do. You know, it's really funny. <laughs> Can I just say, as Carrie's asking you a question, or it's your head <laughs> moved down. She's doing the fucking puzzle. Doing but I'm puzzle. listening. <laughs> but I'm listening. I'm listening to everything he's saying because it's so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know the conspiracy that I'm curious about now is your home, you're locked in. It's uh, You're being quarantined. <laughs> Your husband's doing all these chores around the house, getting all sweaty, doing all this manly work. Why isn't there more banging going on at Carrie's house? That's what I want to know. Well, Adam, as I said. You should be so hot for your husband right now. <laughs> Who's well, barking? It's her right? husband. Did you say he put dog. up like a, you said my he put dog, up a Look band. at my dog. It's amazing how this dog is everywhere I'm at. He Let me not- see. Oh, look at him looking out the window. Well, he's not looking out the window. He's looking at me. Oh, is See it him? your dog? It's As my dog. Real. I'm the else? only one that I feed him. Oh, it's your dog. Uh, okay, I feed him. Uh, he sleeps with me. Like, oh, if I accidentally shut my bedroom door and he didn't get in, yeah, what are you doing? He, uh-huh. he, he'll destroy the door until... And then the other night, I go to my son, let him go in your room. He goes, he doesn't want to go in my room. He wants to go in your room. So the dog is completely happy that Sam is not in the room and he gets to sleep. He sleeps on Sam's side of the bed. He's got his head on Sam's pillow. It's amazing. Wait a minute. So Sam literally is in another room? Boy, oh, Carrie wow. is this very is, This careful. is even more troubling than I thought. <laughs> than what I read on the internet. <laughs> he's, still, he's still on quarantine. But you can't go. Well, you can quarantine Sam with was your. Seeing, he was working and he was seeing people, so oh, I do understand that. Okay, all right. He was out. He was being exposed, but he's right, not so anymore. Now, he's been. It's been what ten days now, so he's got okay. another week. Did they give him a mask to wear when he was around those people? No. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, then that is good. Maybe after <clears> so four, he's maybe got his own room, and days. then everywhere he goes, I, I I Clorox bleach everything around him. But will you watch TV with him together, or he, he let him in the same? No, because oh. here's the thing. <laughs> I cannot watch, you know, the news 24 seven. I cannot watch it. It gives me anxiety attacks. Me so too. I would rather watch. <laughs> probably, uh, probably all the facts. <laughs> I would rather watch, uh, you know, no, I don't really, I don't, I only click on things that my friends send me and then I'm brainwashable. So <clears throat> I can't really click on them because if I click on them, I'm going to have an anxiety attack. I, I, I even after I watch that thing with you that you sent me, I'm like, okay, I, this is terrible. And I go, but it kind of makes sense. You start believing it, like I'm right. Saying, you, be, you become brainwashed by it. Yeah, you You're start like, thinking, hmm, this could this be real? Could he and really then you be? Question me? everything. Then you go, <clears throat> that's real. Then what about this? Is this blue? Is this the, or is this red? You know what I mean? Then you start going. Right. So now when my friends send me stuff, I'm like, don't send me anything. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know. I want this to be over. And that's it. So now all I watch on TV is like movies. Like the other day I watched The Birdcage. With, uh, oh, I love Na- those old movies. Nathan Lane and Robin Williams. First of all, there's a scene where Robin Williams is trying to teach Nathan Lane to be a man, like more manly. Yeah. And Nathan Lane's like, he's like, you know, like John Wayne. <laughs> oh my god he goes and he walks like a guy it's just Nathan Lane is one of the funniest guys he's ever. hilarious they I've both been, were great and Gene Hackman was in that I, what? Gene Hackman is great <clears throat> in every fucking movie he's in I love Gene Hackman it's so weird because he's not handsome in any way but he's kind of sexy in a weird way like Ew. really oh I think he's very very manly like he's a big I don't know I just something about him I like not my type oh but oh, um, and then and then you know Agador the butler who's that uh, the actor I can't remember the oh. actor's name he's oh I know it. who he is he's the guy in all the um the the cartoon he does all the voices no he, he's he's got his own show on Netflix now what's his uh, name? Oh God, I can't remember. Brilliant, he's a brilliant actor because he I plays can't. this. He plays the butler so good. What do you mean? Like, and he does it with I the Spanish seen, accent. I've seen that show in a million years. And then you know what else I watched? I watched What About Bob with oh, great oh movie. Uh, Bill Murray. Mm-hmm. 
Bill Murray. No, Bill Murray. Bill, Mur- and, Bill Murray and who's the uh, Richard Dreyfus? Richard, Richard, yeah, Dreyfuss. Richard Dreyfuss. Love yeah. it. Great movie. He makes this guy go crazy. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> Bill Murray is. And then I just today I watched <laughs> Groundhog Day, another hilarious movie. That is what we're going through. This is Groundhog Day. Mm-hmm. You wake up, you look at the clock. It's like I got to do the same shit I just did yesterday. In my house, and then I go for my... It's the same fucking day every day. It's- and I tell my kids, I'm like, okay, Ferris Bueller was on the other day. I go, let's watch Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah. They sit down for a minute. I force them. I'm like, no, you got to sit down or I get your phones. Or, you know, whatever. I have to pressure them to get off their stupid phones, right? Um, they sat down for five minutes. My son was like, this is so boring. This is That's so what- boring. Oh, my I God. Go, Ferris Bueller's Day Off was one of the best movies ever. It was like it was like Back to the Future. It was like it was an iconic movie, I like know. Breakfast Club. They my won't kids, sit through a Breakfast Club. I go to my daughters. I go, let's watch Casablanca, and my kids well, are like, okay, oh. well now you know. <laughs> Wait a minute, <laughs> they see this black and white Patty. movie. They're black gone. and white. Black black and white. Did you say it I, like that? Casablanca. Okay, I can un- now. I understand. <laughs> Casablanca with Humphrey Bogart, and Ingrid Bergman. That movie has the best <laughs> ending line of any movie. The that was acting- a bad example, right now, Ben. Okay, I'll tell any movie that's like TCM. I I go. Oh, you guys should watch the. I love the film noir. You know the ones where there's the bad girl who gets the guy to shoot people. I love all the. My kids are like, no. The only kind of movie my daughter likes action films with lots of murder. Blood, gore, mm. horror movies. They love horror. I, right, they do. They love horror. They, they just watch horror. I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, but the other, like. right, I don't know. They like it. But he, here's the thing. I try to get them into the Little Rascals because those were so funny. They're like, but where do you get the Little Rascals? I this thought is so on- boring. No, they're not off. They, he never bought the rights. So that was another oh, conspiracy did. bullshit theory. Oh, he did he, he can't shelf an entire, uh, you know, he didn't, he didn't buy the rights. To I thought he did. They're out. They're out. I oh, see really? them all the time. Yeah, you, okay. could, you, you can buy the Little Rascals on DVD set. You know? The thing is, you know, he said Little Rascals was racist because they made the black guys look stupid. Look at how the white kids look. You, you think Alfalfa looked normal with that stupid fucking thing up? And then that. No, it, it, Patty was racist. I mean, it, in today's standard, that thing, that yeah, was racist. Definitely. Back then when it was going on, maybe they didn't think it was racist because that was the norm. Well, they're starting you know, to do like. You don't um, think the white kids look dumb in that? No, but they it was definitely very racially insensitive. I mean, <laughs> they do a thing now where they, they put a special warning on it where it says, like, may contain uh, oh. socially outdated <laughs> uh, yeah. themes. They did that. They do that on TCM, too, because mm-hmm. so many of the old movies, especially right. the musicals, have blackface where the white guys, mm-hmm. and these are movies made in the 40s. You know, well, you know they were still doing blackface, so they go... Sorry, there's blackface, mm-hmm. but we don't edit our movies, so you're going to see. Bla- they give you a warning that there's a blackface scene coming up. Well, you know, uh, the little rascal supposedly, yeah, they made the, the that was the kids. He, how he got the idea? Uh, how Roach is that? What his name was? Yeah, the director. He he was in his office and he was watching kids play. Kids during the the depression had like broke wrecked up shoes. You know, they were little yeah. like Sandlot kids. You know, and yeah, yeah. He, he watched them from his office and he was like watching them every day and he was like oh my god these kids are so funny and that's what he did but in order to get the true you know true every those kids were so talented how he got them is he really did messed up shit to them he would yeah that's yeah like what what did he do because that i heard that that he, he didn't treat them well all those kids said i'm that. gonna kill your dog if you don't oh, do to make this him cry yeah, or, right hey. oh my god so yeah, he was he was brutal. All and those kids turned out fucked up. Look at that Robert Blake who killed. They say you know he got off from killing his wife, but everybody pretty much thinks he killed his wife. Robert Blake, he was so cute as a baby, but he said they did horrible shit to him. And he said his his parents just basically sold him into into TV sl- into movie slavery. Think about that. They were making money off their kids when right. they, the whole world was starving. Yeah, and they were making big money considered back then, all those kids. All of them ended tragically. I mean, Robert Blake- Alfalfa got killed. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Buckwheat did. got killed in the war. Uh, they, they all got messed up, what except for Spanky? Spanky. He lived to, to a long, to, to an older age, but um, and Darla too. But um, there's one scene, I remember seeing this, it was crazy, where the whole house was going nuts. There was a, there was a, I don't know if there was a donkey in it, but the, the kids were running through the whole house. And there was a little black baby sitting on like a, a, a table. Yeah. The baby that they were babysitting. 
Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> and they threw something and it hit the kid and the kid fell off the table. And all you see is this kid screaming and crying. But that was real. Real. I know. It's terrible what they and did. And they kept it in. It was like. Uh, anything for a laugh. I know. And it, remember the baby they put on the phonograph and the kids would just spin around. It's like. Oh, but even, even, uh, even huh? like little simple scenes where he would say um, little things like, I wish Cotton was a monkey. Wish Cotton was a monkey. And now Cotton was a little black kid. It was a little black kid. Remember Cotton? I remember this part. Okay, maybe this was racist. They were like the beginning. Well, and then the all of a sudden he goes, cotton. all he yeah. needs is a tail. Like those little comments that the were... The kid needed a tail? He goes, I wish Cotton was a monkey. Cotton was a little black boy. Oh and then he goes, God. all he needs is a tail. Another one was where they were cooking eggs. He's like, you smell that? And he's like, yeah, sure do. And Stymie wanted the eggs. And he's like, you can't have any? Like, because you're poor. Oh, there were so many racist things. Another time oh, okay. he goes, I wish my pappy was out of jail. Wish my pappy was out of jail. You know, like, there was so I don't many- remember any of this stuff. I just remember it being, like, hilariously funny. It was, okay, but it, it was. was when you were a kid, you didn't realize this, the, the underlying tone. Yeah, yeah. You just saw a bunch. Of, you didn't see it racist because you saw a bunch of kids playing. I just playing. thought the kids were so funny. And they all, to me, like the black kids are playing with the white kids. Like it was just like, I don't know. I just thought it was like. Yeah, they were. But they always depict, they always made them to be not, you know, I mean, some of the episodes are fine. The later ones, you know, with Buckwheat and Porky, they were better, but the early, early, early ones were really racist. And, and lo- they, you know. They I love that of- they had the He-Man Woman Haters Club. I always think of that. I fucking love that. <laughs> How are we doing time-wise, Adam? I don't know. I don't uh, want to take We're good. About uh, hour 20, so whenever hour you 20. want to wrap okay. it up. All right. Yeah, five uh, more minutes. What else? See, I can't watch TV with my husband, not because I'm quarantining him, but he, the shit he watches, news, weather. Today's telling me all about the weather. There's a something bomb coming on, and it's going to be 0. 0.7 in the barometric pressure tonight. I'm like 0. 0.7. I go, what is that? Like three quarters of it? He goes, well, he goes, three quarters would be 0. 0.75. I go, oh my god, nerd alert! What the fuck are you talking about? Well, there's a pink moon tonight. That, well, that's maybe what he's talking about. But and then he watches how it's made, where they show they show how to make a gear. Like out of metal and they show him grinding a gear. I'm like, okay, I can't watch this shit. You know, I'm going in the other room. I can't watch TV with Sam either. It's it's the, the shit they like. And of course I like. They like watching Storm Chasers. Sto- oh, he loves, you know, he likes Swamp People. He loves, oh, he loves cops where they're running after the guy and they get him. What down. happened to the good old days when they liked porn? <laughs> Do you ever catch your husband looking at porn? No. Oh. No, me either. My you know what? Like you don't, they don't watch. But here's what I want to tell you. That porn star that died, the, the gay black guy. I don't know him. He's oh. on every, every, everything now is done with him in it. Like, uh, like uh, I can't explain it. Like Who's every gay porn guy? Who, who is it? He's a black guy, right? And he yeah. has a huge schlong. I don't know oh. if he was a gay. Somebody, somebody, Sal told me he was a gay porn star and then he passed away. And I'm like, who's this black guy that they keep sending out? He's naked, st- sitting like this with his schlong hanging down. You and say send it out. You mean in your instant in, messages? It's the, it's the messages. Everybody's, in, I just finished my puzzle and it's him. And and then the only piece that's not done is is, is is his you know penis right, and then there's another uh, one they're like oh I just got a new coffee maker and then you press on it and it and, and it's see, I can't pre- that's why I don't even go on those I'm like what is that thing they're fucking showing me it's like dick it's and- hilarious with this guy and everyone's like he's more famous now than he was when mm. he was alive the poor guy the ones with the giant dicks seem to die young I don't know what it is I think it has something to do remember that other guy with the barometric pressure. <laughs> There was too much barometric pressure in his penis. They all seem to die young. I don't know. Well, maybe it's the lifestyle. Maybe. Yeah, probably. It's probably the fact that they're doing adult films and maybe there's drugs and fast living. Yeah, yeah. Li- fast the living. Guy, what's that movie that was about where they, he stole money, that crazy movie, and then, I don't know, whatever happened. Mm. Remember? 
Uh, fuck, I can't, if I could remember names, I could actually have a conversation, but I can't remember anybody's <laughs> name and I can't remember names of movies. <laughs> the senility is starting. Well, Patty, here's what I want to ask you. What do you think of the <laughs> comics that are doing stand-up out of their living room, like Joey Cola? Um, you know, here's the thing. People ask me to do it. Like, I can, I'm not doing it. I have some friends who ask me, would you just, we're going to put you, just stand in front of your fireplace and do jokes. No. I, I said, I don't know that I want to do, I don't know why I'm resistant, but I don't want to do it. Somebody else sent me a message. He's like, oh, I need some clips and I need some things. And and then he, I just, I, and I don't want to do it either. Cause, but I, I, it's just like, I, uh, there's something about it. Why, why don't I want to do it? I don't want, because why? Because there's no one laughing. I know it's, it's, it's a weird environment to put. A stand-up comedy thing. Mm-hmm. It's just, I don't so know. So Joey Cola does his, and yeah. the first time he did it, he was red in the face, sweating profusely, he was doing <laughs> it. It looked like he was going to have a heart attack. I'm like, he, oh, my God. But he, he goes did 100%. It. I didn't see it. He Wait, goes how, 100%. Did, how did he? he he's a, what did he do what? it? What did he do it on like Zoom or Facebook Live or something? What, how, Facebook Live, okay. and his wife was filming him. And I got to give him credit because he's amazing. I could never do what he did. I could never do what he... First of all, I wouldn't be able to think of my next joke. Right. Because, you need the laughter. Right. The laughter mm-hmm. brings into your, your... It eases your brain into your... like. Right, right. It's like talking your act to somebody and, and there's one person in the room. I can't, I can't focus. Yeah, yeah. And he did it. And then they, they said on News 12, so he got all this, all this publicity on News 12. And then the next one he did, he got like 10,000 views on his Facebook. Wow. Oh, well, great. they make it smart to do. I don't know. Yeah, I can't, still can't do it. I don't know. I just, I feel too stupid doing it. You know, I'm just, I, you know, do you remember when they bring you into VH1 and all these places? They go, okay, do you stand up back? And there's two people sitting there. No, I couldn't do it. You. And you do, I did my stand up, and then after like one minute in, you're supposed to do five minutes. One minute in, I've just lost all because con- they don't laugh. They're just like watching you. It, it's, it, I feel like I'm being judged. Uh, uh, the whole thing is not the set, the right setup, but anyway. Um, what else? Anything else, Carrie? You want to promote anything? Oh, promote your uh, videos. Oh, what? Yeah, I'm doing all these crazy videos at home because I have nothing else to do. Um, want, you know, and these are real life stories, you know, me cleaning the whole house, every bathroom, every, you know, I'm windexing, I'm, I'm slice along everybody, bottom of everybody's shoes. Cause every day you hear a new report. Oh, the, the virus lives on your bottom of your shoes for 17 days. It's like, well, who's the, what? but even if it lives on the bottom of your shoes, then you'd have to take your hands and wipe them all over the floor and then touch your face to catch it from the bottom of your shoes. Right. Just don't touch the bottom of your shoes. Well, <laughs> I know that, but if it's on the floor, the dog steps on the floor and then oh, he I steps see. on your paw. And I guess. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So um, I do these videos. Like yesterday I did one and then I'm putting out today. It's called uh, You Snooze, You Lose. And this is a true story too. It's like I filled the whole refrigerator up and I was like, you know what? Let me get something to eat. And then I look and everything's gone. Everything that I want to eat is gone because I got these mach- eating machines. Teenagers, the worst. Tell me they about eat, it. I, my son has eaten the the big jugs of the peanut butter because he's fasting now for Easter. Mm. What do you mean he's fasting? What are you talking about? Well, the oh, green, for meat, you can't eat meat. Is that it? Meat, eggs, dairy. Oh my That's god! Pretty much everything. Okay. So I got to work around the clock trying to figure out what to make him to eat because he's a, he's. 12 pounds soaking wet now. <clears throat> but yesterday I made this um, phyllo dough on the bottom, phyllo dough on the top, and all mix, mixed vegetables. And it, was, it looked delicious, but I can't you eat it. You work uh, so hard, Karen. You do. Gluten, My husband made the most, the most delicious gluten-free eggplant lasagna that was the gluten-free. It was, And he had fried the eggplants into those patties, you know, Ooh. and then he's Put those in between with the sauce and roasted red peppers. And then he put, I'm telling you, the whole thing. Wait a minute, but there was no pasta? The pasta, yeah, the gluten-free oh, he lasagna gluten-free, pieces. Gluten- and you don't cook them pasta. ahead of time, they say. But the top one is a little, gets a little hard, so he's going to put more sauce next time. So fucking delicious. And it was gluten-free, and you couldn't tell it was gluten It was just you so put good. He put cheese in it? No. No cheese, because I can't eat cheese. Right. Even without the cheese, it was so good. 
But yeah. I mean, a regular person could put cheese in with the. Yeah, the cheese makes the whole lasagna. I mean, I, but you know, be, when you have the eggplant, it's juicy and that's. But he's, cheese. I become ve- not vegan. I mean, meat, but I become dairy free because they say you know dairy's really bad for you. Yeah, sugar too. Sugar and dairy, and it's very hard to be dairy free. Don't you agree? I don't eat dairy. I haven't for a long time. I put a little bit of lactate in my milk. That's it. I don't eat dairy. Um, well, if he makes p- gluten-free pancakes, he puts a little milk. But I never eat cheese, glass of <sighs> none of it, butter. No. Adam, you eat everything? Oh, yeah, I eat it all. But he's got a system. You can, it, it, you, you'll have normal bowel like movements. A, yeah, I'm like just a uh, trash compact or a, a, what are those things called? Yeah, hit us up 20 years from now. Let's see how it's going. (laughs) 30 years. You'll be giving up all 30 years. You'll be 107 pounds. Yeah, I just eat, um, (laughs) I just eat very balanced. Like, I don't, I don't eat too much of anything, but I do, I love dairy though. I can't, I can't. I know, cheese. Cheese. Who doesn't love cheese? Oh my God, 30 years. I'll be 90. What will I be? 93. That, oh my God. I'll be dead by then. Check in and do do another podcast. (laughs) 30 years. Adam, <laughs> do you ever have mozzarella cheese when it first gets made from oh. Oh. and they give it to you hot oh, and it Madonna. melts in your mouth? Ah, Delicious. Fucking- I love Italian foods. I made a I made a sauce the other day. I'm like a Italian grandma. I made a sauce. You- it took me like five hours. Really? Like a slow-cooked sauce. I love it. When I lived in... Carol Gardens, which was completely Italian back in the day. Now it's all yuppies. But when I lived there 30 years ago, mm. at and there was just the Italians. Every store, like if you saw Moonstruck, that mm. stupid little chatterbox place where they got their hair done, that was there then. The place where the guy made the bread, th- that was there, the, 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 the bakery. So all these places, and I was pregnant at the time, I would go into this one place, Amici's or Amici's or whatever, Big, I get the big fucking loaf of that Italian bread. They put the eggplant on. They put the roasted peppers. They put mm-hmm. the lettuce. They put fresh mozzarella cheese, warm, slice it, put it on. They put the olive oil in the thing, and you'd bite that, and it was like you saw God. You'd eat the sandwich. I was so fucking fat when I was pregnant because I would eat like a big hero roll, one of those, every day. It was I, I still think of that flavor, that bread, that fresh. There's, there, there's still a bunch of places like that. You just have to kind of in Brooklyn. Uh, there's a yeah. There's I don't know the names of them in Brooklyn. In a in Astoria Queens, there's one called Ceriso's Pork. Oh, it's like basically the pork store from The Sopranos. Oh yeah, but it's yeah. You go, you go to the counter, you get a Love. like a hero with all that stuff Love on it. it. It's fucking amazing. They have the the sausages hanging up. At the counter. I, oh, and they'd have rabbits hanging upside mm. down. You oh, know, the, the, know though, that the Italians <laughs> don't do well, can I say? Their desserts blow. Those cookies are like, you, you break your teeth on those fucking cookies. They got hazelnuts in them and shit. You got to dunk them. I don't what know. What about I don't, cannolis or tiramisu? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Yeah, those are good. <laughs> Fucking delicious. They're cookies, but yeah, but, but back in the day, people would come to your house and they'd bring the big thing of cookies mm-hmm. for a party, and every cookie tasted the same. I don't know. The cookies suck. Let's be honest for the Italians, but yeah, the cannoli is amazing. Okay, I'm wrong. Okay, I don't like cannolis. <laughs> I don't like the gritty f- taste of the filling. <sighs> if then you had, maybe you didn't have a good filling because when you get that right and they put the chocolate chips in it, and then you mm. get that crunch on the outside. You kill yourself for that. It's so good. I don't like it. All right. The Greeks have great desserts, though. The baklava. Oh my god. It's very sweet, though. Oh, it's, it's so sweet. sweet. I love it. All it's that. It's like it, it knocks you off your feet. It's so oh. sweet. I don't know. Yeah, it'll fuck you up. You can only eat a little bit of it usually. Yeah. But if you ever have, I like, uh, I love the chocolate covered baklava. That's like a fucking speedball. Never had oh it. Oh my god. You know, I used to uh, make chocolate phyllo dough, chocolate covered. Baklava. Oh. Really? Like it was chocolate filo dough. Oh, I never had it with, I just had a chocolate dip. In the dough. In the dough. Um, Look. Really good. It was delicious. Um, But, uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize this with baklava. They think they're eating honey. Mm. That's what I think it is. What is it? It's not honey. It's 
they, you take water and you take like six cups of sugar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so fucking sweet. It's like a syrup. And you, it's like a you sugar melt syrup. it together until it thickens and you throw like an orange brine peel in it or a lemon peel in it and it gives it a little th- mm. flavor. And then it thickens up and then when the – one has to be hot and one has to be cold. So if your sauce is hot – I mean if your syrup is hot, then your baklava has to be cold or vice versa. Make the syrup first, put it in the refrigerator, and then when it comes out of the oven, first thing you do is pour that cold syrup on top of it. And it's not honey, it's sugar water. That is so weird. I always thought that was honey. It tastes like honey. It, it looks like honey and it tastes like honey. Yeah, I, yeah. When I lived in Brooklyn, I used to always go get by that. It was so good. My kids loved it. It was great. Yeah. What a great food in New York now that I live upstate. You, you don't get it up here. You know, like- no, I want to move. I want to move to Florida. Florida? Kevin Brennan wants me to, Kevin Brennan wants to move to Florida. And I'm like, you know what? If he goes, I'm going with him. Were you going to go live next to him? (laughs) I'll live with him. (laughs) Misery loves company. And he was talking about living with his mother-in-law. So you'd have to move in with them. That's fine. The whole family? No, I couldn't do it. I couldn't live with Kevin. I'm just saying, but it sounds like a good idea, right? It would be great. I told him I think it's a great idea. And actually, my husband would love to live in Florida but in a heart because he is his friend has a place down see, so many friends who have they have their second homes down there and he had, but the thing is it's just very hot i get migraines oh, and patty heat. you would be burning up every second of every day <laughs> you know how i sweat like just for regular you sweat in my, an air right conditioned room my whole, i keep going like this because the whole back of my head is sweating when i'm in heat i feel like i'm gonna my head's exploding i get migraines but you know he would love it down there he loves the heat he loves you know, when he was a little kid, his uncle used to call him, he's Irish, his uncle used to call him, come here, you little, you call him the little Puerto Rican, be, which is probably racist, I guess, but <laughs> because he would run around in the heat and everyone would be like going inside and Kevin would be running around, he'd have sweat pouring off me, love the heat, but it's just like, ugh. but it's a good place to live. I guess taxes are good down there, Carrie. Yeah, you no, look, was yeah. it no state tax And you, And you, they don't tax your pension, they don't. You know, it's a it's a state for the people. I know we're going to be moving soon when we can't pay for this fucking mortgage. So we've got to figure out a place. We'll see. I hope comedy comes back. So do I. I lost so much money. Because think about this. Even though we're going to be out of, like, quarantine, let's say. Yeah. People are not going to be sitting next to people in comedy clubs. Or- well, that's that's exactly right. People are going to be – and also – the comedy clubs are filled with tourists. So the tourists are going to come back to New York where the coronavirus was huge. You know, they're going to go, oh, they said we can go into comedy clubs now. You're going to fly from wherever they are. Are they Are they, um, Are they? they spraying the shit out of the streets? Are they cleaning the streets? Are they Like if you look at Wuhan and, and Italy, whatever, they're, they've got these big machines where they spray this chemical – Whatever it is that they're spraying. Yeah, that'll probably give you cancers. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Well, you know, everything. Supposedly, the people, the, all these conspiracy theories that I get sent, people send me this shit, okay? They're like, well, it's really not, um, it's really not a virus. It's really 5G. The 5G is oh, breaking down the that. cells of people that. and they're getting sick from the radiation. So it's like a lot of stuff that you're like, maybe. Listen, I, I listen, I'm open to any of it. It could be any of it could be. I don't know. And I just don't know. Are we ever going to know? Like, would they ever let us know what it really is? A- everybody has too much to gain mm-hmm. by lying about it. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't know. I don't know where it, did it, it probably originated in China, but who knows? You know, it's what it looks like. Yeah. And you know what? If you look at the 5G which is the 10 times more powerful than the 4G, uh, the towers are everywhere. But supposedly they want to, the 5G because everything's going to run off 5G, right? Everything. Cars are going to drive them. I don't know what 5G is. I don't even know about this shit. It's the network. You have, have you heard of it? Oh, the network. I mean, your your phone probably runs off 4 or, or 5G. Are we oh. on 5G now for all the all the phones? I think they're on 5G, right? Mine's on 4G. I think I'm on 5 I don't know. Is it faster? I'm healthy. I feel good. 
Uh, it, uh, I don't know. I, I would have to have check. You, I'm, I'm not sure. I think, have I mean, your balls fell out of your body yet? <laughs> they have actually. <laughs> I keep my balls on a separate. Yeah, when you get t- testicular cancer, uh-huh. God forbid, <laughs> then we'll know that there's something wrong with it. Right. No, but but they, they're supposedly everything's going to be faster on that speed, and they're going to be able to do. They're going to be able to fly a plane without a pilot. Damn. That makes me nervous. I don't like the cars that drive without you. Makes you nervous. Have you yeah, seen some like, of the pilots? They're all drunk. Wrong. Yeah, I'm not going on that plane. <laughs> Fuck that. Well, I'm, I'm going, sure. I'm, I'm sure planes. there'll be a backup pilot. Yeah. You think? Yeah, they'll have to. Yeah, they'll, they'll have to. They're not going to have the plane will fly itself, but there'll be a backup pilot if, God forbid, the mm-hmm. you know the the, the what you call it goes down. Yeah, to override it. Oh, I see. So then there's a computer backup if he yeah. if something goes. Okay. Still, I don't like it. I like real people. Like you know when you make a phone call and you need help and they put you through to a thing and leave a thing and that just give me the real fucking person. I just want a person to talk to. I hate the the. I hate all the computers. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's my that's my thing. I mean, we should we should probably go because Adam already gave us an hour and a half, right? Carrie, Adam I loves love us. seeing you. I love Carrie. I love Patty, and I love Adam too. This, this was Adam- the best brunch ever. <laughs> I really enjoyed this. <laughs> we should have been drinking with this, but unfortunately, neither Carrie nor I drank. This would have been a good yeah, why don't you guys drink. Adam, uh, your mic goes in and out. Is that going to be happening when uh, the that show- happens? Because we're talking and we don't hear him, right? Yeah. So on your end, it it uh, it it's Drops. sort of routing the uh, exactly, but that's good because then so then you can't hear people talking over each other. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm glad you guys are safe. I like your bathrobe, Patty, in the back. Can you see my bathrobe? Oh, yeah, my big plaid bathroom. I tried to make sure I took off. I made my bed. Wait, can you see my bed? Oh, you can't even see it. Yeah, I made my bed today, which I usually don't do. I got to see the stuff on my side table. I, oh, yeah, don't look at that part. That's where the mess is. I, do, I threw everything off my side table into a box and put it in the living room so I don't look like a homeless person because mm. I have, like, creams and things and lubricants and pills. Well, you know what I did during this lockdown? Lubricants (laughs) for her joints. (laughs) Yeah, that's what they call it. You are right. I have terrible joints. You know what I put on my joints? I put my CBD cream on my shoulder because it hurts me. I do do No, but so (laughs) what I've done during this lockdown, the first two weeks was remove everything from drawers and and, and, and I threw everything out. I put everything in a big bin and it went to the Goodwill because all this stuff that you have, like I had stuff that I can't even tell you, creams, face creams, these, none of these things, they're all in your cabinets for years. Get them out, throw them you out. You want to know something? I just said that to my husband. Uh, you should see all the hair products. I've never, I have an entire closet full from beginning to bottom and then my bathroom, the whole mirror completely filled with all my products and then on the sink, I've got like 30 more pro. What the fuck? I, throw them out. Throw, I, know, I threw I, everything out. Yeah, but you hate to because you spend I don't care. like $30. I don't on care. Stupid, really? I don't care. All right. I no, threw I, it all out. All right. I think I have to do that because I can't live like this. It's, you know, it's a mess. Um, all right. We got to go. We got to go. It was a great hour and a half. Mm-hmm. I loved seeing you guys. And uh, Carrie, I am open to maybe... He's trying to kill us. Who? <laughs> Warren Buffett. No, the other one. What was his name? <laughs> Bill Gates. <laughs> Bill Gates. I do think Bill Gates is an evil piece of shit. You know who hates Bill Gates? My husband hates mm. Bill Gates. Why? Because my husband is a computer guy. Yeah. He goes, this guy has licensed everything with computers. So every time you use anything, he makes a zillion dollars. And then after he makes a zillion dollars, he goes, Look at what a great man I am. I'm giving a million dollars to this. I'm giving a million dollars to that. Yeah, that's like us giving $20 to this. Don't don't fucking license it so you're you're taking all the money out of the 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 middle class people who are trying to use your computers by license, you know, and then all of a sudden you're a great guy by giving a little piece of your money away. Sure. Go right. fuck yourself, he's Bill like, Gates. He's like Pablo right. Escobar. Right, I agree. I, I mean, you know, I mean, is that true? Yeah, that is true. And or is that a conspiracy? I don't know. Could be. And he could be a murderer. We don't know. <laughs> well, I don't think he's that kind of a murderer. What kind of a murderer is he? <laughs> yeah, 
Adam's like, I thought I was done with the show. And Carrie's right, going, listen, now, wait, wait a minute. He's I don't, not I don't that have, kind of a murderer. I don't have a lot going eating? on. It's okay. Carrie is now, stop puzzling. Now mm. she's tomatoes. Yeah, one little tomato. I never eat tomatoes as a snack. I don't get that as a snack. No? Not a little cherry tomato? As a snack? Pretty I would delicious. want a cookie as a snack. But again, Patty, these are all conspiracy theories. There's no truth to anything. Isn't that right? In this country, you're innocent till proven guilty? Yes, that is what supposedly. So this could all be lies? Could be. That people are... Food for to- thought, Carrie. Food, I, food for thought. Food for thought. Ken, and one last thing. Carrie, you have the best lips in the business. Look at your lips. You know what I do on my lips? I draw a line outside my lips. To make To them. make my lips look, yeah. look thin. My lips are fucking... I got little skinny... What my lip? Yeah. You don't even see my fucking lips. I got those big fucking lips. They're good, Carrie. All right. But anyway, let's end the, the whole uh, vaccine How thing. ending like- it? If, Uh-oh, if the they make Final the vaccine, if minutes. they make the vaccine real quick, like real quick that they're coming out with, there, I don't think it should be mandatory. I don't think it should be mandatory either. Right? Because also, if you've had it, why would you want the vaccine? Your your natural body is the vaccine. Also, we don't know if we've had it. So if there's a test that we were yeah, get that test out. Yeah, if they if you know you were carrying it and you had it but you had no symptoms. You don't need the vaccine either. So give us those tests, get the tests out, and then people will know who needs to take the vaccine or not. But there's no tests. That's the problem. But they're supposedly saying that if you don't get the vaccine, you'll, they'll put a travel ban on where you can't well, that, go. Well, they can't do that. They're not going to let they, Well, that's what they're trying. Mm. That's what the whole conspiracy theory people think. Oh, okay. That that's the uh, that's the plan that if you don't get the vac- vaccines, you're not going to be able to go to Europe. You're not going to be able to go to here. You're not going to be because you're not going to be immunized. Well, I think they do do that with wasn't that with Canada where you had to have prove immunizations. Mm. There are certain things like that. I remember when I went to Canada, you had to prove that you had certain shots and stuff. So it, they already have stuff like that in place from before. But, but certain people's immune systems probably can't take that shot. Yeah, you know I agree. I mean? So I, I, do, I don't think it should be mandatory. But you know, I am all for vaccines. They, but they need that. They need to be carefully made. I'm in agreement. Adam, test it. Test keep it for the five ba- years. Keep the Adam, uh, fetuses out of there, out of the well, mixing bowl. I don't know how true that is, but they seem to <laughs> say that that's pretty true. Well, let me tell you something about fetuses. Uh, Nancy Reagan was against using uh, stem cell research, which had a lot to do with fetuses from stem cells. And she was all against it until her husband got Alzheimer's. And then she was all for it. Mm -hmm. Because when you have Alzheimer's, you know, stem cells can really help your brain and help all that. So everybody's against it until they get something where they need it. And then they're like, oh, okay, never mind. Those stem cells, we like stem cells. Mm -hmm. So... Anyway. Now, wait, the stem cells come from where? From I don't from- know. It, stem cells used to come back in the day from uh, um, umbilical cord and all that. But stem cells don't come from that anymore. That's not true anymore. But I, I don't know enough about it. I'm not a doctor. But I, evidently, it doesn't come from that anymore. That's what they say. But I, I'd have to look it up. Adam, any <laughs> thoughts? I, I know. Uh, Here's uh, Adam's very thought. Limited, I want to get the fuck out no, of here. I, I have very limited uh, knowledge on this, on this type of thing. <laughs> well, I couldn't tell you what. What is he going to do, Patty? He's going to get up and what? Mm. Play with himself or make a sandwich? What it, is he doing you after You play that? with yourself, God Adam? God willing. That's almost exactly what I was going to do. That was my to-do list. <laughs> make sandwich. We've worked him up. Play with <laughs> self. <laughs> with our wait, let him, wait, let all, me hear this again. All, all make this, sandwich. All this talk about Carrie's lips has gotten me wanting to make a sandwich. <laughs> Sandwich if you know what and I'm then, saying. And then? Oh, then play with myself. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so eat first and then play with yourself. And then yeah. probably get on no, the phone with Kevin Brennan uh, and listen yeah. to his whining for 25 Sure, minutes. sure. The thing <laughs> is, no, um, I no, I'm actually very busy. I'm 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 like one of the people that's still working pretty much full time because I can do my my job from home. So So where, what's your next who's your next podcast? Uh, my next thing is I'm not recording any more live ones tonight, but I just my next thing is I just got to take a bunch of files that uh, people emailed me and put them together and um, mix them and put them up on the internet. Got yeah. it. Yeah, I'm glad you're still making money. That's good. Yeah, some. I mean, it's not you know, it's not what it like, was. Yeah, it's not what it was, but it's but I'm also I also don't have to leave my house, so it's like I'm not going to charge the same amount. 
I can. Can you afford PJ. to pay your rent though with, with all this? Because you live yeah. alone. Yeah, I just I just paid my rent a couple of days ago. I felt like kind of a chump. I'm like, I don't think anybody else is paying their rent or like mortgage. So I felt. But kind of- but, but 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 hold on a second. They're saying you don't have to pay your rent, but they're not saying you're excused. Yeah, to paying you're not your rent. excused. They so you're going to have pay to it later. You're going to have to yeah. pay it later anyway. They just won't evict you or charge you a late fee. But so I'm like, I'll just keep up with it, you know. Right. If you have it, just pay it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know my kid was trying to get out of it out in uh, Oregon. And they're yeah. like, the guy's like, no, you got to pay it. They go, well, we don't get a month off or anything. He's like, no. He goes, I don't get a month off from my mortgage. You got to pay it. Mm-hmm. Like, right. Not, you know. Here's what I'm nervous about. And this is, we could close with this. I'm nervous about this clo- lockdown that we're on. And, and, you know, I mean, I'm out of money. Okay. If, you know, if it wasn't for Sam, I'm out of money. Yeah, yeah. How about the people that are out of money now? Where are these checks that they're claiming right. to give to these people? And they're out of money. So so how are they going to buy food? It's going to eventually become- The week-to-week people are fucked. The week-to-week. Right. Well, so they're... now what's going to happen? These people are what? Going to rob pe- rob grocery stores? Like, how are they going to get food for their families? I mean, it's so sad. Well, isn't that the whole bailout thing? Aren't they going to give everybody like 1200 bucks? I know it's not a lot. 1200 bucks gets you I know it's not a lot. A week of food? I think basically the I well, okay, first of all, a week like Yeah. Well, you're I by guess, yourself, but a family yeah. of six. Oh, well no, but you- no, but for a family of six, you get 500 for each kid and then uh 12 for each um Well, when is that adult. happening? When? It's supposed to be happening. You you anybody that pays taxes, you're supposed to get one. I'll believe it when I see it. We'll see. I mean, that was what they did the whole, it was like uh, however many trillion dollars. Uh, well, here's the problem with that deal. And, you know, of course, you know, I am a Democrat, but I feel that that, but that thing was for the rich. They gave it to the rich too. Why are you giving it to businesses? Why are you giving it to big, big business can cover their own fucking asses? Just they, give it yeah. to the middle class and the lower class. Rich people don't need any, anything. Anyway. They do. They do. Who? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You know, Canada's given their people 2000 a month. Yeah, other countries, France, all these other countries, mm-hmm. they're giving them their paychecks every week. They're, yeah. they're, so anyway. Well, right, some some oh. some businesses are getting their paychecks. I know, like the whole airlines, they're 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 still getting paid. A lot of people. Yeah, are but still what about paid. the little guys? The guys yeah. like uh, Gino's Pizza and you but know like even Gino big, even big companies DSW they, they 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 let everybody go and they said uh, you still get health insurance but nothing mm-hmm. else, yeah. no money, mm-hmm. no they they they're not getting severance. And they go, and when we come back, we don't know if you'll come in at the same amount. You, it could be half pay. Mm-hmm. But that's a what? Big, yeah, yeah, that's a big company, and yeah. uh, that's what they're doing. Yeah, people are hurting bad. Can, and, and, yeah, and these are people who've been there for 20 years, you know? So now you just, what, I just go home and I don't have a paycheck? It's not even yeah. like you can work from home. No no, no money, but you get health insurance. So and the what sad part is, is- People don't have a nest egg. They don't have a hundred yeah. grand sitting around you know, to, people don't to survive think a year. Gonna happen. Yeah, they, this is really makes you know you have to get a fucking yeah. saving because mm-hmm. you you don't think something like this is going to happen. And it can happen again. Not to be whatever. All right, we got to get out of here. How long is this? Two hours? Almost approaching. It's a talk. Oh it's a, a talkathon. It is a talk. We, no, we, gotta, we love you, Adam. We, we miss should, you. We, we had should. a lot I know, to say. I, I miss you too. Adam, I know this is what happens when we don't have a weekly <laughs> This is what happens when we <laughs> all get dog. together. I love your dog. Look how beautiful the railing is my husband made. That's he what made I'm, that? That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I can't believe it. What do you mean not... he made it? He put well, it up? He, well, yeah, he put it up. I mean, we got it I from Home Depot and he put it up. I little love rod, it. I thought you rod, mean he, meant he made the iron. Looks like No, it looks like rod iron spindles and... Maybe an oak banister. There's Carrie with the guy from uh, Aerosmith. Look how cute you look at that little picture of you. How old are you? Like twenty? I don't know, but that's me and him. Thirty five, I think. Oh, Steven Tyler? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Wait, there's no pictures of me and Sam, but me and Aerosmith are in there. That's terrible. <laughs> and I'm you such call a him, terrible wife. I like wife. that you call him Aerosmith. That is actually funny. You don't have a picture with your husband. Hey, you it's the me and Aerosmith. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had my George Carlin picture. It's in the other room. That I love. I love George Carlin. All right. Good night. Okay. I mean, afternoon. Okay. Bye, love gals. You. See you.
Thank you. Carrie's already eating, and now we're we'll on to the next thing. I'm so, hungry. Okay. I mopped. Listen, I did all the bathrooms today, and I mopped all the floors. <laughs> what did you do? I had breakfast. Hot dogs. Yeah. My husband, hot dogs. And what else? I woke up at 12 noon. Hot dogs? Hot dogs and sauerkraut. That's how I cook. Nice. It's got to be something you heat up. I'm only cooked by heating things up. So you'll survive this. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then I stayed up till four in the morning doing my eBay upstairs. I'm getting all my shit ready, getting my stupid, you know, I do cataloging, you know, I do selling your dog. All right. Okay. Bye, gals. I got to put this up on the internet. Love you guys. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.